It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the brilliant idiots. And turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace, all right? I'm not just saying that. I'm saying that because uh, they are today's sponsor. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. First of all, Schultz is back. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Andrew Schultz. Honey mustard. Japanese Schultz. In the building. New York Times Schultz. Let's go. Changing the game Schultz. Hey. hey. <laughs> I'm shadow banned on Instagram. No, I'm shadow banned though. Why are you, what, what does They're that trying mean? trying to silence me, bro. What does shadow ban mean? Dude, you got a little makeup on your shoulder. You got to get, I thought you were a faithful black man. I am bro. a faithful black man. My wife knows this is because I'm just a hugger. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. You got to be like, baby, I got that from curving these bitches. I don't even bitches. try to hide <laughs> it. I walk in there proudly. See, and the, the thing is, you don't try to wipe it off. Because if you try to wipe it off, it's it like you're trying to come with something up. Ooh. What I'm going to do is when I walk in the house, when she says, what's that? You got makeup on your shirt? i like, what? For real? <laughs> Nobody told me. You don't say. Even though I heard it the fifth time, I heard it. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Smart man. It's fine. Um, yeah, no, they shadow ban me, man. What did that mean? So Instagram does this thing where it basically makes you unsearchable. Okay. So if you type my name, Andrew Schultz, into Instagram, you leave a space. I don't show up at all. And if you type my actual Instagram name in, it's Andrew Schultz. My name might pop up in some of the feeds, but below where it's visual. So in other oh, yeah, words, you yeah, would have to keep saying. scrolling. Yeah, yeah. They did it to you too. Yeah, they did that to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Why do they do that? Oh, well, first of all, I was mm. going to introduce our guest. Oh, uh, my bad. She's an Afro-Latino comedian. Uh, she has a special on Netflix right now as part of <laughs> Tiffany Haddish's She Ready. Con- uh, I don't know. T- she Ready what? Comedy okay. series. They ready. That's what it's called. Tiffany Haddish. They ready. Uh-huh. Comedy series. Uh-huh. Ida Rodriguez is here. Okay. Ida. What's up? Ida. 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 How are you? We also okay. have uh, another guest. Yes, my guy. Uh, he is. Um, what do we call you, Ja? I don't want to say journalist. Yeah, yeah I journalist. Feel, well, I don't feel comfortable with journalists because I didn't go to school for this shit. Like, yeah. I Neither did Rich Paul. Jokes about people, huh? <laughs> you don't oh, need to do that. Yeah, that. school that schmool. That. Nowadays, I don't know what it qualifies, but a writer. He's a writer sort. for right. Bossip. Okay. So my man, Ja. Yeah, man. Long time, homie. They got internet comics. They can have internet journalists. <laughs> Fat, Ooh, right? yeah, man. Very that's true. Who's a TV journalist anymore? That's fair. I don't know because I don't consider myself a journalist. You're a journalist. I keep hearing that. Um, Wait, are you a journalist? I don't think so. Me neither. Yeah. You're a, you're a radio well, to guy. To the standpoint that you're documenting the day-to-day culture and things that's going on. I just left a press conference. I was at the uh, Jay-Z, uh, a Rock Nation NFL press conference with this white t-shirt on with makeup on and this Dream Chaser hat and some Art Meets Chaos jeans and some red Pumas. You're brave, bro. Why? You are brave. I'm just disarming. You like those fat girls. <laughs> 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 this is just story. disarming that's all I'm just like you know, this guy don't know shit alright <laughs> hiding that's my all. diabolical nature that's under this white tee okay so you go to this press conference you go to this no, press conference let's finish with you. What, you what is that you was in Japan oh yeah Japan fascinating fascinating yes. place uh, wildly uh, intriguing and also super fucking sad in Why a lot of ways <sighs> bro what part did you go to? I was in Tokyo. And then there's also Kyoto. Don't bother. Kyoto You said everything sucks. is clean. It's clean as fuck over Oh, it's there. clean. It's 100% clean. Why it's very clean. Let you know. Don't dude, bother. No, dude. It fucking... It's like... You know Don't what bother. Kyoto we is? Don't bother. this place. Real talk? We needed to. That was the problem with it. It's Here's the thing with Kyoto. Everybody white tells you to go to Kyoto, right? Mm-hmm. Or everybody non-Asian tells you to go That's to Kyoto. That's Williamsburg of... No. What it is is this. When Westerners go to Japan, we don't want to see you in a business suit. We want to see you doing that fucking Asian shit, bro. Yeah, we want to see a man. shingled roof. You want to do the safari. Keep Smoke it. bomb ninja, right? We want it ri- Like when you go to Africa and you see buildings, you're like, bro, where the bones in your nose, bro? That's what like, we want to see. What's going on yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, like, so white Westerners go over there and they're like, wait, where the kimonos, where the sandals, where the girls waddling and shit is fucked up. So they go, go two hours away where they still do that dumb shit mm-hmm. right which is up in Kyoto and it's not even authentic you know they're wearing it just for a costume it's, it'd be like when like Europeans come to America and they look for cowboys right mm-hmm. right and they're like that's America and we're like nah that's 
gay guys oh, or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not what really Japan is about. That exa- Japan is a business capital yeah, 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 of the yeah, world yeah. and they perfect everything. Bro, I had the best, and this hurts me as a New Yorker to admit it, I had the best pizza in my life. Really? Damn. Best pizza in my life. Whatever they do, they're craftsmen. They perfect it. Oh, yeah. Really? And if they, they can't perfect. do it, they kill themselves. Oh, they love killing themselves. Yeah, That's their yeah. favorite thing to do. Yeah. You been? You been? Harikari. Yeah. Harikari. Yeah. Yo, bro, so they hang themselves in a forest. They got a yeah. forest for killing themselves. Yeah. They got the Harikari where they cut their stomach mm-hmm. open. They rip out their intestines. Oh, that lets me know that they know about reincarnation. Not about to say reincarnation. Reincar- <laughs> that was the <laughs> blackest <laughs> term I ever met. That's that press conference. Reincarnation. Yo, you've been talking to too many Democratic candidates. Because listen. 2020 bill, the reincarceration <laughs> of black people. I'm Bernie Sanders, but for me. Because the only way you would kill yourself that easy is if you know you was coming back. Or mm. you were so fucking miserable with life. Yeah, they 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 have so much pressure. They, Son, they, they have really hug, unbelievable. They have Did you go to one of the, the hugging? Booths okay, so and- this is what they do. What I was talking about. That, you have to realize these are fascinating people. Japanese, I, it sounds like I'm knocking. They have the best of whatever your experience in life, they have the best of in Japan. Oh, without boy. a doubt. Best beef, obviously best sushi, best pizza, best everything. But what they tra- they transactionize and commodify their whole culture. Mm. So, for example, if you want to feel like closeness to a person, a woman, and just talk to mm. a woman, mm. you don't just go to a bar and try to chat up a woman. There's no game in Japan. Nobody kicks game. You go to a bar where women... Their job at the bar is to talk to you. You can't fuck them. You don't fuck them. Yeah. You want to get you want your nut off later that night. You go to a different bar where they jerk you off. Damn. So you want to wash later that night after that because you don't want to go home to your wife with cum all over. Go to the next bar. Another <laughs> spot to clean yeah. your dick after it got whacked off. It is every aspect of culture is completely broken up into its an minute detail. There's an app for that, but their country is apps before app. Jesus yeah, Christ. they got the hugging one, and then they got one to cuddle. Like Yo. You just lay down for lunch, during your lunch break and mm. just cuddle with a another person. You then, hold each other. Yo, they have oh, that's a, beautiful. a hedgehog cafe. The fuck is a hedgehog? You know Sonic? Are oh, you eat them shit? No. <laughs> I was oh. supposed to say that. Like, <laughs> you said cafe. <laughs> you said hedgehog son, <laughs> they, literally, they have a, a puppy cafe. They have a cat cafe. They have literally. You're walking down the street. To do what? Because you're walking down the street and you're feeling sad. And you're like, what would make me happy? Oh, that's beautiful. Puppies. I'm with you on but, that. But a Japanese person would go, well, what is the cutest thing ever? And you're like, puppies. And they're like, well, we should let people play with that during the day if they wanted for like half an hour. And in Amer- right in America, we'd be like, oh, that's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Japan, they'd be like, no, we need that. Damn right. And they yeah, just yeah. do it. Dude, it is... I'm telling you, it's fascinating, but also there's like a sadness because when you commodify everything, there's no organic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, everything is transactional. Bro, like mm-hmm. you didn't even see, like, and dude, they're so polite. It's like the bowing is excessive. They're so polite. Yeah. They're constantly, it's like squirrels. Like they're mm-hmm. constantly, like, you ask, can we get a taxi? Oh, no, no, right away. Like, <laughs> you didn't, I didn't meet one just like calm Japanese dude. Really? Like, oh, what up, fam? Like, that right. doesn't you know, not a lot exist. of people. Son, yeah. mad people. So it's like New York Times 10 something like that. It's New York. That's how I felt about it. I went to Tokyo with, uh, I went to Tokyo with Marsha and Brocious like back in 2000. Oh, let me pick that name up. You just dropped drop it. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right fast. Right, 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 right fast. And uh, I had the best fucking Egg McMuffin. Did you go to McDonald's when you Son, over there? Oh, yes. Best Egg McMuffin you in ever had in your life. Really? I don't know if it's the water. I don't know what the fuck it is, but like they perfected they that perfect. shit. It's not even a fake egg. It's like a legit egg, yeah. a legit piece of country ham, whatever the fuck. When, when, yeah. when, I was, when you eat eggs there, you'll open the egg and the yolk is red. And you're like, why yeah. is the yolk red? And they go, oh, the chicken only eat herb. And I'm like, yeah. I didn't even know you should feed the chicken yeah. some specific thing. Well, guys. Yeah. I know we got a young lady here, but I'm not telling you what the best part is. I mean, so everything else is that good in Japan. I mean, I'm trying to live vicariously through y'all guys. There's a faithful black you man know, over you here. You know how the pussy is? Yeah, asking, you know what I mean? Are they run up on you with the hand grab shit? With the, what, what, like, with the girls? You, go, you leave out the club, and the girls will come up to you and, like, rub the middle of your palm. And they let you know, like... If you want to go around here, this is what it is. They'll hold your hand, walk down the block until you say yes or no. And you be shoot them off and they roll out. And you know how to say yes in Japanese, Jock? Nah, I probably should have figured that out. Jesus Christ. Son. I stayed away. I didn't want no trouble. Such a different world so, for women. There is, wow. dude. I wasn't it, for you. Oh, like, I, did, not like, did you go? Nobody rubbed my, yeah, nobody rubbed the palm of my hand. Okay. But what I did learn was a lot of those Japanese women that come here and you see them shopping. They're at Gucci. They're Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. They're prostitutes at home. Mm. And they come here. They make so much money. 
They are, they are like, they make so much money in Japan selling ass, and then they come here and ball out of control and, and have more money than people who go to work, like got real jobs and Bro, careers. Did, how did you feel about like what it was like to be a woman in Japan? Well, for me, it they, they were looking at me like, what is she? Yeah, really tall in there. Yeah, and who is she? And yeah, brown. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it happened to me in Korea and in Japan where someone was like, you're here. Michelle Obama. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they round you off. Yeah, they round you off to the nearest black. Yeah. And, right. Yeah. And whoever they can identify with, like a tall black dude is Shaq. You yep. know, like, yeah. it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. They round you off to the nearest black. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did. That whole... Michelle Obama thing or Tyra Banks or Puerto Ricans are unheard of and I'm too dark to be J-Lo. You yeah. know what I mean? So, Dude, it is... There was a... Uh, I, was, I went out to dinner with a couple Japanese women. One was Japanese but born in Brazil and raised in Brazil and the other was Japanese but uh, raised in the UK. Right? Okay. So they're Japanese... Uh, genetically, but yeah. cultured in different places. And I was just asking them about like what it's like being a woman there. Like, is there like casual dating? Is there a game and that kind of shit? And they're like, no, it's not. Doesn't doesn't exist and all. And I was like, is it kind of like like do women like take care of the house? Do you take care of the family? Like, do you also work? And they go, yeah, we you have to do everything. Yeah. And I'm like, that's even more impressive <laughs> because think about like at least in like like a misogynistic culture, right? Like the women, they're like, you got to stay in the house. But you get to stay in the house. In Tokyo, it's like, take care of the kids, do the laundry, do all that shit, and work 14 hours at the fucking Toyota factory. Isn't that worse? Building fucking Corolla. Building Corolla. Like, isn't that, you don't get any of the benefits of the usual misogyny. Misogyny that goes along mm-hmm. with this shit. And they were saying like 1% of Japanese women orgasm. They wow. said, she said oh, she yeah. was fucking this Japanese dude once and she was like, I'm about to come. And he goes, oh, you don't have to tell me that. Like, it what? didn't matter to him. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, that, yeah, yeah. that's not important. Yikes. Dude, yeah, so it's like, in a weird way, and, and I don't, don't get- want to live in a society where women can't come. Mm-mm. Well, isn't that we live, society? I was like, we live in that society <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, speak, for, speak for yourselves, guys. Yo, I All literally right. just had that conversation with some women last, like- What, a woman you didn't make come? No, not my- No, 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 no. Listen, listen my, Tell us about <laughs> Marsha Ambrosius <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what we say. Ah, help me. Those I don't know who that is. Who is that? Marsha Ambrose? One of, the, one of the greatest R&B singers of all time, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, the homie, the big sis. That's she, one of the greatest ever? Mm-hmm. Marsha Ambrose? Hell yeah. What about she Ariana Grande? She sang at Nipsey's funeral. She did. Oh, did she? She sang yeah. at Nipsey's funeral. She's a beautiful mm-hmm. voice. Yeah. Blew it out the Amazing. Water. I love her. I mean, is she I love very her attractive woman? Days. Yeah, Marsha's beautiful. And did you did you at least try to engage? She's my sister. You guys are related? No. This is my people. Hell no. What if she threw it at you? Fuck no. Really? No. Do you believe that? No, I don't know. So wait, so this, well, so wait. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if I believe that. That's not true. I mean, so, I get it. I mean, I, listen, I got I got homegirls that I just, I don't look at in that way at all. You know what I'm it's saying? The, yeah, it's not even, I never looked at it like that. I have eyes for my wife and that's it. But prior to that. Never. I think that that's one of the mistakes that guys on, make when it comes You've become friends with a girl that like you were... Sexually attracted, you, wait, I don't even understand what's going on here. You mean you've just been friends with a girl, and even if she tried to have sex with you, you wouldn't do it? Absolutely, I hundred no, percent. I, I don't. There's not understand. one. If I'm, if I, if we're just friends, it's because I'm not sexually attracted to a part of your personality. I got, be- I got yeah. beautiful homegirls yeah. who are just my homegirls. There's not a single girl. <laughs> There's not a sing- no, no meaning like meaning like you could be beautiful, but your personality doesn't sexually turn me on. So yeah. then you're just a homie. We're like friends. There are girls like that. Like I'm, you know. But you I don't think- have platonic female friends. Not yeah. hot ones. That's uh, not true. You That's just not said true. they're beautiful, but their personality you, is fucked up. Their man. personality isn't sexy. What's a sexy personality? Like, you know, these girls is are trying to, like, dap you up and shit. It's like, we ain't, you're like, what is she that sound, about, yo? Give me like a hug. Kiss is not sexy? Yeah, she got, you know. So if the most beautiful woman in the world came up to you, dapped you up, and she sounded like Jada Kiss, and she wanted to give you something, you wouldn't smash? I'd be like, listen here, Caitlyn. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna trick me twice. Nah, me, I'd whisper to Jada, we gonna make it. Let me tell you Fool me once. I, don't, I, I think it's better to have women friends that are just... To be, to be cool with. Like, I think I'm not it, denying I think that. Farther. I'm not denying that. But I'd be 
inauthentic and I'd be disingenuous if I said that I was just friends with a girl that I was sexually attracted. I'm not one of these guys going, oh no, babe, let me help you put together your fucking furniture. Uh, no, like, yeah, I think you're attractive. Now, if I have a girl, like right now I got a girl, so I'm not acting on attraction yeah. to these other girls. And I can compartmentalize it, but I'm not going to act like I wouldn't if they threw it at me and I'm single. Nah, I've never felt like that with any of my homegirls. I, I value my friendships too much. If I call you my sister, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I got I got friends that are my homegirls who are like my family for real. Like, and I'm cool with that. And if they, what if they were like, I want to be closer than family? I'm be like, I'm gonna tell my wife because now she's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> you over here, you over here eating if, dinner with us, and coming on vacation, and all this bullshit. Hypothetically speaking, yeah. right? Your wife said, "You know what? You've been faithful for so long that you deserve some unfaithful. Uh -huh, you okay. deserve it because you're such a great, strong black man mm -hmm. that even the strongest black man, you know." Blade every once in a while need to bite some yeah, 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 yeah. real blood. The serum don't always work. Yeah. So if she was like, go out there. No, no, no. I would say baby. Baby. That's yeah. a trick. As always, we're in this together. <laughs> <laughs> first before, first right. before, I would say baby, as always, we're in this together. Yeah. So, so I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But if you insist, you choose. What if she said, I will divorce you unless you go out there and you get some. I'm going to say pussy. you choose. So, so you she find, choose the girl. Yeah. You find some strange, not your homegirl. Exactly. Oh, what? you do bring the home girl. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, oh my god, you'll never that's hear the end of that. That doesn't fit. That's you know what I'm saying. saying? You can't do that. That's like, the not trick. The home girl. Like, you oh, know. I knew it. That was bait. Mm -hmm. uh. Fuck that. All right. <laughs> if it, but when you got a whole crew of home girls, is this your home girl? Be like, look, man. Why are you making me go fuck somebody else? Can you find somebody for me, please? <laughs> now, that might be the safer play. You know if it comes down to that, like, to her to find the one, shit. We all, every, I think many women have done that. You trick your dude and saying, if you could sleep with anybody. Any one I of my know, friends. Yeah, really? Yeah, which one would it be? Yeah. But don't y'all even know your most attractive friend with the fat ass? No, but but that that's because my, my perception of a beautiful woman is very, or a woman that you want to fuck is very different than a man's perception. I know, you like a girl who's like good at listening. Because I'm a girl, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Claudia listen and... well? Are you like girls too? Right? No. Oh. No, no. No, he's, meaning he's like, like a woman's, making... what a woman is attracted to, right, is different than what a man is attracted to. Got you. Right? And it's, uh, I think that you're completely right about that, right? Like we have different things that we're drawn to. Mm -hmm. Like a guy, I can be sexually into a girl that is like dumb, has nothing to say and completely boring, but I can find her physically attractive enough to want to sleep with. My ex-boyfriend, I asked him, and he finally answered the question. What did he say? Right? He, it was a girl I would never think. Like, I have some beautiful, beautiful friends who are voluptuous, have the most banging bodies. And the girl he said was this white girl that didn't have no ass. And I was like, really? I broke up with him. But, uh, you broke up yo, with him? Well, not, yeah, we broke up. But we had a lot of other problems. But because of a white girl with no, no ass? No, 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 no. I should have broke up with him. Should have let him fuck and be like, no, nah, But I'm it good. was be it was because she was a white girl, and in his mind, she'll do anything. Why do blood, why do brothers think that? People of color, why do we think that white girls do anything? That's not true. No, it's not. Uh, the freak is the other uh, Like, I'm not gonna say anything, anything. No. What do you tell me what you what? call anything? Listen, well, you he, can't. I've dated everybody. I dated Latinas. I dated white women. I dated black women. I dated the whole thing, not Indians, but everybody <laughs> but Indians. What right? are white women doing that a black? A black you can no, nothing, be getting even... head from a white woman, and you can go. You can go. Hey, eat my ass, <laughs> right? You could look at a white woman's face and go, "Hey, eat my ass." And then she'll she'll look up and be like, okay. <laughs> Black, if you... Alex, what do you mean? All, so, what, sisters ain't doing that? They gotta warm up. Let me tell you something. I've dated plenty of black women. I have attempted... <laughs> No, I let, have come out. Attempted let the record show. Tell, I've att I said, and it wasn't, hey, eat my ass. It was more of like a, what would it be like you if you like ate my ass? Like, is that like part of the thing? In your, <laughs> but listen, though, in your younger days, in your younger <laughs> days, you had a hairy ass, number one. I do have a hairy ass. Number two, and I think that it's like some white supremacy type of feeling for a black girl for just to be getting sucking some white dick and then all of a sudden eat my ass. 
Well, you didn't That's have to make it request. fucking racist, I'm just bro. Saying. I just told you. I asked the white girls too. Oh. I was trying to treat her like an equal. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to uplift this beautiful black queen. You know, Listen, I've gotten my ass eaten by white girls, black girls. Black girls eating your ass? Yes. Not. I'm not going to talk about your marriage, but I'm extramarital yes. affairs. Black girls just running down eating your ass all willy nilly. Your ass. <laughs> all willy nilly. You, you're in sweatpants all day, sweating up that no, ass. See, I don't do that. I'm not. I I'm know, not nasty. What do you mean? I wash. Who eat ass. I know Latin women who eat ass. I think. Oh, Latin women, women eat ass. But the difference is, I think that with uh, Latin women eat ass. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Come <laughs> culo. <laughs> Not if you say it like that. Like, How do you say it I, in I, Spanish? I don't, I don't know, but that come culo is. The differences? I just think that with white women versus uh, black women is that nobody eat, white women don't equate don't get their self esteem. You can't mess with their self esteem based on their sexual activity. It's mm. very Ooh. socially and culturally mm. acceptable. Ooh, what does that mean? Real. To be, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You know, yeah. nobody judge white people. Don't judge. white girl a hoe is not. She don't care. She, she, she might not be care. like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Like, just keep it moving. Like, yeah, might, she's like, I'm gonna tell my dad to fire you motherfucker you know what I mean so you're saying as white a minority white girls go to the slut walk I've never seen white girls at the slut walk now that I they think invented the slut they walk are, they yeah. are the slut walk we can't the slut walk Amber Rose's version of the no, slut walk no the slut walk is for white girls no, to dress not slutty not Amber's version Amber's oh. version is different than the ones that but the Amber's version I don't know what is, Amber's is, is like. if you call it the slut walk then you're perpetuating patriarchy if you are a, if you're saying I'm a slut and I'm proud of it then you are you are not standing for your sexual liberation you're taking the lady that, that we gave that men gave you in Rome yeah. with just being like, okay, that's, that's me. Like, now. It's calling yeah. like the end people walk. You yeah, know nigga what I'm walk. Saying? Yeah, <laughs> that's saying. Look, I'm tired of these white people calling us nigga. We're gonna do a nigga walk. Nigga walk. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's embrace it. What's up, yeah. niggas? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the same. It's like for me, but but women of color, we can't do that. Our street value goes down. Like, Wait, if you're a hoe, you. it's bad. Yeah, because we get you. penalized for that in our culture. Like you do? When, of course. It's more, we I think do. it's more demonizing for women of color than it is. Yeah, and within within ourselves and amongst you have to understand understand that black women have been over sexualized since the beginning of time so there's so many uh, nuances that comes that that comes with that sexual reality when it comes Yo, to people Yo Ida you got to answer this shit for me <laughs> when did when did latinas become black but, uh, my whole life growing up, Latinas would shun that shit. Yeah, they're they're like, oh, oh no, I'm not, something. I'm not. That's different. That's different. Blah blah. You know there was a lot of colorism like, in the in the Latina community. When the boats landed in Puerto Rico, Cuba, yeah. the Dominican Republic, Colombia, and Spain went there and colonized them and mm -hmm. raped them. That's when there are so many Black Latinos, and I don't understand. Um, you know, I think the divide and conquer thing is real. Of course, the colorism it, it exists in Haiti. Haitians are Afro Latinos, right? But I'm saying for the first First time in in my existence since we got woke it it seems like Latinos are embracing the blackness that is in their heritage and their mm -hmm. genetics whereas prior to that there'd be a rejection of it and there was a distinct like I would see I would see darker skinned Latinos mm -hmm. call black people negro yes yeah. When they were negro, negro, and now Dominicans, that we oh, were Dominicans, like, Dominicans will like call black, black people. They be like the black people, and I'm like, bitch, you, <laughs> you black. Yeah. You're the black. They got you know, cornrows. They got the whole know, shit. It was a time when the term black wasn't even a good term. The term black was considered a derogatory mm -hmm. term around 1965. Five, I think 64, 65 is when they started embracing the term mm -hmm. black power. And Martin Luther King Jr. did not like the term black power because Martin Luther King Jr. said that uh, what, what Martin Luther King Jr. was about was equality. He wanted to be he wanted everybody to be on equal footing. He didn't right. want white power or black power. He just wanted everybody to have power. So he used to be against like his man, Stokey Carmichael and them who was screaming out mm -hmm. black power. So they didn't even like that term. Hmm. I understand his. I understand his rationale, but sometimes you need a power movement to even get the self-esteem up to the yeah, point where you can absolutely. feel I agree. equal. Like I, no. sometimes you need it. It's like those slut walk and all these kind of like women's marches. It's just for me, like I just view it as an overcompensation that is needed to balance the ecosystem because there was an insecurity. Yeah, but with the slut walk for me, it's like, call it the sexual liberation walk. Find a, another name, like I own my yeah. pussy walk, but not the slut walk. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would hope you own it. Yeah, no, it's like, my pussy is a sole proprietorship. And, and, and you know what I mean? It's, you don't, not the Who do women one. think are like against that? That's what I've never understood. The, the, the thing is that, like I tell you, that there is a penalty for being promiscuous when you're a woman, right? Who, who charges you? Like, there's got to be the men, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Culture, yeah just, the, just the society. But absolutely. we love. We love sluts. Yeah, but that's the hypocrisy that's not, of us. That's not true. That's the, but that's the hypocrisy. I mean, well, you, you don't, don't love sluts? sluts? Would you marry one? I mean, sluts. yes. That's the uh, difference. Well, you, you, look you, look what, at somebody like her or because she's a slut? Her being a slut and me loving her, I'm not going to love her for her sluttiness, but like if a girl's had a bunch of sexual partners, all right, yeah, that's just no, a fuck. Yeah, that's right. I'm yeah, a yeah, fucking no, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, that, but let's be clear, you might be that, that might be for you. Not everybody is, is jiving with that. Wait, Everybody's in, not in going the, that's that. insecurity, okay, dog. In the, like, it is, but, but in the hood, they be like, oh, no, don't fuck with her. She fucked Jumpa, she fucked Man Man. She exactly. Fuck yeah. 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 Don't exactly. fuck with her, she yeah, fucked yeah, yeah. me. Your value. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, when you're a woman, your value depreciates. When you're when you sleep with a bunch of guys, when you're yeah. a man, your value appreciates. Well, that's, that's how society. But, but real talk, that's how we each view each other, right? It's like women, you value the fact that other girls want to fuck me, and that makes you not you, but that makes a woman want to fuck me more because you're like, oh shit, well if they fucking him, what's so special about him? For some women. I think f we're just being generalizations. Yeah, for sure. Generalizations. I, but yeah, some women. Some women have a sense of value. We value want to fuck. Because we, we got terms like dirty dick. And but like, y'all don't, don't care. Don't wanna There's not one dirty dick dude out there that can't get whoever he wants. Who's no. the dirty dick? It depends, though. I don't though. know. Everybody doesn't want HPV. I was yeah, gonna say thirty has a scale. Like, we all got HPV. <laughs> well, yeah. You ain't got HPV. <laughs> I'm not fucking no girls without HPV. <laughs> you want to be with a girl who has sex with more? Look, listen yeah, to what she's yeah, saying. Yeah. Rising you, would you be upset? No, nah, that's a slut, bro. Nah, that's different, bro. You can't be. That's what I'm saying. Slut, like it's levels I gotta to this be slut the, shit. I gotta be sluttier. Yeah, like it's, it's levels to this slut shit. Yo, there's yeah, a wage. Sure. There's a dick gap. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, it's like, like I gotta have at least thirty percent more bodies than you. Listen, I, I, I would. Um, I used, I, I used to do this joke, and I'll go on stage and say, "Ladies, how many of you have had sex with a man and wished that he died so you wouldn't have to count him?" Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. And the whole, they, everybody would get quiet. And then I would just release them, and all the women would go crazy because it's like we we every like there's a th a belief that you shouldn't have more sex partners than four if you're a woman. Like right. it shouldn't be more than one hand. Like all that bullshit. It's that. It really I think, is I think that joke is hilarious until you find out the man died of AIDS. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, oh, my twist. I don't know. You just gave me. Now I'm putting that in the joke. That's going in the special. <laughs> Talk about your special. Ida? Ida got a great story, man. Talk you know to Ida's us. story? I don't know your story. No. I Well, you know, I got kidnapped twice, and I talked about it. You didn't the learn session. the first time? <laughs> <laughs> you Who told that? you to wander around that like, playground Stop by getting in the van. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So funny. White people have perfected blaming the victim. Like, Yo, we the best at it, right? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. First thing I thought, right twice? <laughs> twice, you know though. Your Stop walking around alone. You know what? The, the white guy said that to me, and Joe Claire was like, shit, you was hot in them streets. <laughs> Yo, the kidnappers were all talking about, careful, she get away. <laughs> so, like a kidnapper app where they all talk to each other? Like, 100%. yeah, this one is. Serious, serious question, though. How did you get kidnapped twice? No, yeah. I was kidnapped by family members so the first okay. time my mother kidnapped me from my dad which is the, the number we call one, that you know. love yeah well she you know she changed she changed my name he didn't see me he didn't he found me on facebook wow my dad had been looking for me my whole life and my mom was young she was like 16 years old he cheated on her she took me moved me out of the country changed my name moved you out of the country yeah i lived I, we lived in the dominican republic and i moved back here and he 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 wasn't a citizen so he kept getting um deported which is also so I talk about so I uh, I didn't grow up with him and it was very painful I was very resentful my mother took my father away from me because he cheated on her and a lot of women yeah. do that and you cannot hold your kids as ransom you know yeah. like you can't do that to the father of your children you can't you gotta you have to keep the mother the man woman relationship separate from the the kid relationship it's very damaging can we oh, yeah. can we just I was little I was like two three years can old. I ask a question just sure. a question you can here ask okay because if you can't you know change your situation you can change your perception Absolutely. right and like 
that that whole story is a testament to a mother's love, man. Absolutely. Like your mother loves you. Like mm-hmm. as a white, like our parents don't really love us that much. I don't know if you know about that. <laughs> right. But like my mom does not love me enough to steal me from my dad. Hundred percent. I don't think the mother had anything. I don't think that was love. I mean, I'm sure she loved you, but I think it was more so fuck him. Yeah, but think about it. Let like hurt this, Latin, the guy that Latinos on love their fucking kids so much. That's a punishment. Like most people, oh, yeah, if one saying. parent yeah, yeah, took yeah, the kid yeah, away yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. the other parent, the other yeah. parent would be like, so weekends or what? Like, I was going to leave, but you going to leave first? <laughs> Thank you. All right. You know what I mean? Like that. But that's that was a punishment to your dad. And your dad loved you so much that on Facebook, he's looking and trying to yeah, find his daughter. Me. Yeah, he did, he cries every time he, talk, he talks to me. Ugh. But you know, the thing was God, I love that Latinos, man. my mom was really young. <laughs> right. And she her perception of him was, he. my dad is older. We, we I called him the pedophile for like the first few years that we connected. Because my mom shit. was like 16 and he was like 20. 26, 27. Right. And, he uh, wasn't the pedophile. He was a, a pedophile. pedophile. Are you sure you were in Dominican Republic, not Lil St. James? I know. <laughs> she said. Uh, Epstein humor? Okay. I know, that's why I like. <laughs> You got it. Oh, okay. Didn't, I forgot the name of the island. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. I've been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I think that she thought that he was not good for me, you know, because she was like, I'm a kid. Like, I'm going to get her away from him. But mm-hmm. she was being vindictive. And um, it was, you know, it was tough. Then my grandmother kidnapped me from her. What? Yeah, my, On dad's side or mom's side? My, her mom. She was date. The, la- the next guy she was with was a killer. Um, he was like on the FBI's most wanted list for murder. So... My mom, my, my, we were on the run with him. Like, we got raided by the SWAT. It was all this craziness. Really? Yeah, so we were in New York. We were in the in the Bronx, and my grandmother came, and she stole me when my mom was out. I was with the babysitter. She yeah. put a knife to the babysitter's neck. She took me, and she cut all my hair off. She changed my clothes, put me on a plane, took me to Florida. That was love. Saved you. She saved you. And then my, my mom <sighs> came home, because I, I believe my grandmother— Dropped a dime on the guy and he got arrested and went to prison and then my mom came home. What kind of what kind of murder though? When you say he was murdering people, was it like he drug related murders else. or just? It, it, it was it was a senseless murder. He was in a bar. He got into an argument with the guy. The guy pulled the gun out on him. He took the gun and instead of leaving, he shot the guy with the gun to to prove he was bad. You mm. know, and then hey, that happens. Yeah, <laughs> it, that, <laughs> you pull a gun on somebody and you lose. Yeah. You yeah, supposed yeah, to be yeah, dead. Yeah, absolutely. Like what if you on? got the gun and the person that doesn't have the gun ends up killing you. Yeah. But he ran. Yeah. So he could have probably fought self defense yeah, if he hadn't yeah. ran. Yeah, and it yeah, was yeah, in yeah. Florida. But it was you know. Back oh, he in, definitely would have won in Florida. Florida. Florida Stay in your ground. ground forever. Yeah, but he ran, and then the the police were you know trying to find him. There were shootouts. It was all kinds of craziness, and so. Uh, yeah, my grandmother said. How do you have a relationship with your parents now? Like, how do you? You know, I guess build a bond with your father or, 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 and your mother, like I do you. That bond no, is strong, just, so bro. Walking around being a bitter bitch will not get you anything but cancer. Uh, <laughs> it will eat you from the inside out. Yeah. Like we always, we get so self righteous, and we get you. I can't believe you did. Then look back at all the shit you did in your life. I, my mom had me when she was a teenager, and she was coping circumstances that I would never know how to cope with with the things that happened to her. Yeah. She did the best that she could, and um, I've had more better, great years with her than bad ones. And I'd be remiss if I walked around penalizing my mother for the mistakes that she made. Can I ask you a question? Why is it that that Latin women always believe a man, the Latin man, will be faithful? <laughs> I've like, never why heard are you so Latino surprised? Men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Yes, Latino, Latino men. men turn the volume down on that shit. Afro Latino men up. don't cheat. Because <laughs> they got That's black. Right, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you about to win the whole Dominican Republic? They don't. Colombia's about to jump on this. Oh, you about to have them all. <laughs> in two languages. Afro-Latino's like, I like that other Duval song, Living My Best Life. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but real talk, it's like, it what? is almost comical the amount of, 
uh, adultery in Latina culture. Is really? It, it's, it's accepted. comical. It's, it's, so, it's accepted. Like people and and a lot of Latinos are going to get mad at me and say that's not true. But the reality of it is, is that it's it's accepted 100%. in our culture. We're, you get used to it. You turn a blind eye. Mommy's at home cooking. We don't know where Poppy is. My when I was I remember being uh, my stepfather and I we were having dinner. I used to have dinner with him every night. He told me he said. Do not concern yourself with the business of men. Uh, men are not naturally monogamous. He's Shit. like, if a man is monogamous with you, that means he's trying his best and he's fighting his nature. And I remember saying, well, does that mean you cheat? And then he was like, eat your food and shut the fuck That's up. That's right, but nobody told you to, to <laughs> be giving I, out Didn't I just pop? tell you don't concern right. yourself? Yeah. Uh, by the way, I don't believe that. I used to believe that. And you know what? Mm -hmm. That thought that you can't be monogamous is what makes you not be monogamous. Mm -hmm. But when you... You picked an easy time. You're 40. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, you ain't monogamous at 24. It doesn't matter. Why you, got, you worried about semantics. You got three sperm in your balls. You could be faithful. It's easy. I'll be, you know, be on that sea moss and that male balance. <laughs> And that male balance have you like this at all Someone time. wants a boy. One time for Dr. Someone Savy. wants a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got some sea moss ice cubes in my freezer. Like, Wait, really? Sea moss ice cubes? Really? Yeah, I made them. Wow. I ordered it. I ordered it. It came. I, I cleaned it. I blended it. And I put them in the... What do they do for women? You just put them... They help your hair grow. They're good for, It helps your hair grow. It's good for your skin. Also for the libido, your digestion. Sea moss is amazing. I, sea moss? Shit. I, I think sea moss is amazing. I just feel like, honestly, I've never felt better being faithful. I think that that's a matter of wholeness and being secure. Very you know? much so. Yeah. Because I think need, when... Oh, I'm sorry. No, if you need a bunch of motherfuckers to make you feel like... I, like I watched... I used to open for Corey. So I watched Corey's episode. Corey Holcomb. Episode, when he talks yeah. about... We always argue about this. It it actually manifests itself on stage when I work with him. Because he's like, oh, look at all this old oh, goofy ass things. The dude going... You know, the whole... You think a, a dude is going to be faithful. And he's like... <laughs> you, And it's like, Corey... The the re I my the first thing I said to Corey when we got into an argument was who hurt you word right <laughs> who did it like who hurt you but thank God because them jokes slap oh, they slap man. slap we man. need that whoever hurt him God bless yeah because that dude a, is funny he's the voice of a lot of men yeah and and you know and then women get celebrated for accepting that oh my girl cool with that she know that I, that's who I am and they're like yeah she a, that's a ride or die bitch with oh. the, the one whose uh, ovaries are falling out because the bitch got syphilis <laughs> that, that's the thing that pisses me off you know it's like she's a ride or die bitch she all the way till she dies from one of the fucking STDs you gave a You can't get there. STDs from cheating though. Oh. What are you talking God. about? <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> it's that's like a natural condom. Yeah, that's yeah. cheating, you don't get STDs. You get that from yeah. From I agree with you though. I feel like, you know, uh it's just some insecurity. Shit, I didn't think about and it. Yet, it's, it's, it's like a it's a it's a <laughs> ego boost. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like guys cheat just to boost their motherfucking ego. Yes. Like yeah. that's it. Cause all I'm I'm really just fucking you to be, to tell my boys. Yeah. And so my boys can give me a pat on the back and be like where you hit that exactly just keep it to myself don't do nothing for me yeah. that's why shadow banning someone is bad for the relationship why because I can't get these likes I'm gonna have to go get this pussy <laughs> that's <laughs> why Mark, you never why block Mark people Zuckerberg word fucking, up had me broken up but that's why you never block somebody that you either was fucking and now you want to stun on. You don't block them. You let them see let you them motherfucking see shining, bro. Because wow. when you block them, they get angry. And then they got the homies putting whack shit on your wife's page. And they start like one of them Kevin Durant accounts yeah. and be looking at you yeah. from the other side. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So did you do anything to, like, I guess, get refocused, like you as a human being, after going through all of that type of stuff? Like, how, when did you become whole? Or have you become whole? I'm still working on it. I, I love, you know what, this this is a day and age of self-righteousness. Like, I love people are always really good at pointing out what everybody does wrong. Mm. As people of color, we always talking about racist people. We've been taught so much shit within ourselves. Like, I, I remember, like, my, my grandmother was like, she didn't fuck with uh, white people with, she because she got holes in the civil rights movement. And she'd be like, you know, in Spanish, you know, they smell like dogs and you stay away from them. Or, or I remember, like, being told that stuff about Asian people like so I, I just pride myself in just being a work in progress mm. as opposed to sitting around as a comedian I can't afford to be self-righteous because they're going to come for me at any day I know I've said something right. it's just not and, funny like self-righteous right. humor is not yeah, funny it, it is it, and that's what I say about conservatives because we get in I, when I do these panels with conservative comics they're not funny like they're so self-righteous that they forget to be funny and it's like 
I go to therapy. Me too. I, I I've been in therapy, and you know, my family be like, "You don't you don't need therapy. That's for crazy people." I'm like, "Bitch, I, we are the crazy, We're crazy. people." <laughs> like, what are you talking yes. about? I um I've worked really. I I left the church because uh, I grew up Seventh Day Adventist. And it's a lot of days. It's man. very, very similar to Jews. You know, they go, they keep the Sabbath. They turn the lights off on Friday. Yeah. I know you think I'm Jewish, but I'm not. But okay, well, you said you were earlier. No, I didn't. We were just talking about. Oh, you were Jewish talking things. about. My, my yeah, bad. Yeah, you can't yeah. be Jewish. Okay. You were talking bad about them. Um, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's not allowed to self hate. <laughs> no, 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 you better push back. You better push back on that one. I'm trans Jewish, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't let that one hang out in the atmosphere. What? Talking bad about who? That never happened. <laughs> right. so I want to make it. <laughs> well, I gotta go pee. We gonna pay some bills? Yes, we gotta pay right. some bills. Okay, guys. This product is brought to you by the Temple of Israel. The, no, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, greatest, the greatest people on the face of the universe. No, in all seriousness, uh, guys, cigarettes are simple. And thanks to my blue, vaping can be too. With easy to use pre-filled liquid pods and a 20-minute charge, my blue lets you vape all day. Just click it. In and go. Plus, My Blue has the widest selection of flavors. Find My Blue in a store near you or order online at myblue.com. The website is restricted to adults 21 and plus. Obviously, okay, obviously. Also, warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. It is not for sale for minors. Uh, back to the show. Ja, boss up. Talk to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was oh. a that, yeah. Someone it's, wants the it's smoke. smoke. No. El humo. El humo. El, el humo. <laughs> Sleeping around with some Latin chicks. Come on, yo. I speak Spanish. No, I know. Your, your pronunciation is perfect. I used to live in Spain. Uh, but those are not Latinos. That's very true. Yeah, That's the are, madre patria. Those are Europeans. That never forget Spanish. it. Hey, yeah. never those forget are our it. colonizers. That's right. Mm-hmm. They gave you that Spanish. That was a gift. <laughs> and you know, it's okay? funny. <laughs> that was oh, a you, gift. And I know you're going to get to gossip, to boss but what I think is hilarious is mm-hmm. that the the pronunciando la that comes from a speech impediment that a king had. The king had, yeah. And to honor them, they kept it. They kept it. So they pronounced but, their C's and Z's as uh, th. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so like yeah. instead of uh, zebra, zebra. That zebra. Right. right. But then they make fun of us because we don't do it. So we speak the inferior Spanish because right. we don't Because you speak. don't have a speech impediment. Yeah. But how how dope was it back in the day when you were a king? Like yes. you spoke weird and then you're like, that's how we all speak. That's what it is now. Imagine <laughs> if he had Tourette's. Bro, <laughs> Man, that's that Italian. That would... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, stupid motherfucker. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> Real talk, it is a fascinating story, right? Yeah. And like, Spanish is, is, is super interesting that way, like how certain things just don't exist in Latino culture like the uh, like the vosotros mm-hmm. like you guys don't you guys use ustedes right ustedes yeah vosotros is very uh, it's very proper no no ustedes is proper no. vosotros is the, the two thing. but for plural yeah, no, no, but, but it's, like, it's saying, like an unused, uh, like it's like an unused tense, isn't it? In Spain, right? When I was learning Spanish, it. if I was speaking to you guys, mm-hmm. I'd be like, "Vosotros estáis," uh-huh. right? But here, I'd be oh, like, really? "Ustedes están," right? Hey. Uh-huh. But but in Spain, I would only use "ustedes" if it was like you know, you guys were adults, adults or older usted, people, usted, usted, right? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. I took Spanish for like four years, like through high school, and yeah. as our teacher pretty much told us. Like two is formal, usted is is is, is I mean a two is informal, usted is formal. Right. And for socials, you're never gonna use. Like that's yeah. literally what she told I don't know why they bother to teach us. Yeah, because yeah. it's like you're an never extra use chapter of the test. That you're going for no reason. Like, like this you know, is already confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, she <laughs> threw that shit out the first day. Like we're not even gonna don't even worry about that. Like we're not gonna It's funny because some people say boss and we don't use that. That's at all. the uh Colombian. The Colombian. And it's only mm. from certain regions of Colombia. Like if you're from Cali. Yeah, they use the boss, and I think um, Argentine people too. Yeah, they do. Well, they are, they they speak very Spanish. They Spanish. swear they're Europeans. Yeah. You can't tell. Well, Argentine they all tell you person. about their Italian blood. Oh, it's like yo, this is the funniest <laughs> shit, dude. Latin is so funny, man. <laughs> they they will tell you exactly the fucking white place their family's yes. from. They got no clue where their native yeah, roots are. Pure Castilian blood. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pure it's Castilian. a small neighborhood outside of Barcelona. Yeah. They'd be like, yeah, but why are you brown? <laughs> uh, it's some Indian or something. I don't know where they're from, but yeah. The, yeah, so the indigenous yeah. people, like that's an insult to some of them. Like, Indio, hey, right? Indio. It's really like, 
We we got it bad too. Like it's the colorism and the self hate is unbelievable. But that's what was so funny to me when the Afro Latino thing started popping, and I was like, "What?" All of a sudden, mm-hmm. like did and did nobody tell all of Sammy a sudden, Sosa? People, do, <laughs> oh well, he's that's the self hate king. But all of a sudden, Laz Alonso started speaking Spanish. Yeah, Spanish a little bit. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? The actor. He's an actor. He was in the Fast and the Furious. Yeah. yeah. Um, Which one was he? Um. Yeah, he was in. Uh, was he in? Was he his best man? He was no, Laz Alonso was in. Oh, he just did the. Then he just moved to the movie with Taraji. He the, the green muscle car. Thing yeah. Like that killed Letty. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you're right. But he was on BET. He was. Um, He's on the boys. The though. teen the thing. thing. Oh, on Amazon. Oh, I haven't yeah, seen it. Amazon Prime. Yes, that's his new show. Okay, so Bossip, right? So yeah, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Right, right. now, we live in the epitome of. The, the click culture, the clickbait culture. Right. Right. So, and don't get me wrong. I'm put, I put out videos on YouTube and I know the difference of a catchy YouTube title mm-hmm. and a catchy thumbnail and a boring YouTube title and boring thumbnail. And the distance, difference is literally millions of views. Absolutely. Now, I refuse to clickbait, but I understand the title has to be sexy enough. Well, first of all, let's define clickbait. Yes. I feel like that word turned into just some shit that people say when they see a headline that has grabbed their attention and they feel bad for it grabbing their attention or something. So like what I we- consider clickbait uh something that isn't accurate. Right. In other that's words, what supposed to, right. That's, right. to me, that's the standard definition. This is the worst version, is it? Is does Brad Pitt have AIDS? Yeah. Right. And then the right. article starts, turns out Brad Pitt doesn't, doesn't have, have AIDS. AIDS. Yes. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? right. So, like, do you feel now that you're operating in, in this world, do you feel like, are you in control of the headline? And when you're creating the headline and you know how important that is to get people to read, mm-hmm. is there part of you that's like, should I embellish a little bit? Should I mislead yeah, in no, order to get I've, these I've, clicks? Where I've, do you draw the line with that? I've never felt the need to embellish to the point of misleading or lying or right. like putting some kind of fact in there that isn't true just to, just to get people to click. The whole thing with Bossip is that we have he- we write unique headlines that embellish, but not em- we embellish for like uh, performance sake, for effect, uh, vocabulary words, it, uh, uh, alliteration, and like shit Wait, like that. Was it boss of like- the stuff that like was getting all these retweets because the they were like almost poetic? Yeah, the yeah, title thing. Yeah, we write bars. Oh, like, dude. That's, like, that's, like, that's how we get down. So it's not about lies and like trying to come up with some. It was like you were reading the person in the in the Twitter title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Inside the title, yeah. If we have to flame you, we're gonna flame yeah, you yeah, in yeah. poetic ways and ways that rhyme and ways. It's gonna be like some some yeah. some like hood Doctor Seuss shit where we yeah. kind of like, run away yeah. where you're gonna get this work, but it's also gonna be to the point of if you fucked up, you said some dumb shit. That's how you ended up here. Now, when you're when you're operating with a media company. Mm. Is there a narrative that the media company likes to keep? That's part one of the question. And then there's a part two that's yeah, follow up. They like to keep. You Meaning, mean like, an, like an agenda? Yes. No. Well, not on our end. Maybe so other sites. You could write whatever article and have whatever opinion about whatever you want, and there wouldn't be an editor who's like, "Hey, listen, this is Bossip. We like to think this way." Yeah. No. The only thing that will there'll be people that we won't talk about because we're owned by Radio One now. So we got we got we got they did a merger like two years ago. Yes. Before that, we were just a mom and pop shop. We were doing whatever we wanted to, but it was a big mom and pop shop. Popping, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like a big mom and pop shop, and they did the merger with Radio One. So now the thing is, if we have people on the Radio One side that have been banned from the station, let's say if somebody gets banned from the radio station, all Radio One stations, we can't talk about that person on Boss because now we're part of that regime. So we won't even mention, we won't even do stories where there's a problem. Great. But there's not a political narrative. There's not a political narrative. You have narrative. to uphold. Like how Nikki is talking about, like, there's this agenda to bring me down and Nikki hate train. Like, there's no, on our side, there's no Nikki hate train. It's just, if you do something crazy or say something crazy or you just generally look, and however you look doing what you're doing, yeah. we're going to talk about it. But there's no, like... We don't have a grudge against any. I don't think anybody on staff cares enough to have a grudge. Like, yeah. we're trying to write jokes and put up these stories, get these clicks, get paid, and then go home. Like, right. I don't use my real brain 
to do this. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my actual real brain, I don't yeah. use that for Kim Kardashian or right. some fucking right. reality star who's sucking off somebody in an alleyway. Like, yeah. I don't care. I just, I, I look, look at it like comedy writing or like late night writing, right? right. Like, there's a subject, somebody needs a monologue, we're going to yeah. give you these little lines and we're going to go about our business. But it's not, uh, there's no passion behind it you right know? to me it's just can i be funny can i be witty so the narrative of the objective is f- humor humor yeah, that's yeah that's hey, for us it's about humor if you're gonna talk about just be fucking funny that's it don't be too crazy other political. sites might go for like a more salacious angle or mm-hmm. right. like who did this oh we saw somebody now obviously if something credible comes across our desk and we can like at least vouch for it in some kind of way you'll throw it out we'll there. put it up there right but that's not really our angles. I'm just, I'm just curious as these like, as these blogs that like you said, are mom and pop shops Mm -hmm. as they've kind of replaced Mm. like traditional media. How Mm -hmm. old are you? I'm 38. So you're 38, 41, 41. I'm 35. We grew up with traditional media. We we CNN, Fox Mm -hmm. news, you know, like the fucking regular late night news show that was on your local Mm -hmm. news. And in our lifetime, we've seen news completely shift to Twitter accounts. It's opinion yeah. based. People, people will say, "So uh, such and such died," and they'll be like, "Well, let me go to TMZ and then we'll see, <laughs> see, 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 see if it actually, actually, actually happened." Like that even way. Michael yeah. Jackson, because remember Perez Hilton reported that Michael Jackson died when he hadn't died, and they mm-hmm. creamed him. Yeah, get mad. They creamed him, right. but it's like TMZ is the reputable source. Nobody says I'm going to go to ABC to see. Never. If it's, no, it's TMZ now. Never. And it's so it's like, so now there's a time where anytime you have influence in media or influence in the world, mm. right? You have a responsibility and that responsibility is usually dictated on like what you believe is right or wrong. Right. The people at Fox believe they're right. They, mm-hmm. they truly believe that's the best case scenario for the country. The people at CNN and MSC, they also believe that. They're, right. they're not going, I'm a diabolical mastermind. Mm-mm. They truly, both of them- Well, Roger Ailes was a diabolical mastermind. Maybe Sorry. some of the other people on Fox, Sorry. individuals maybe- The pawns. The pawns. The pawns are yeah, yeah, drinking yeah. the Kool-Aid. Tucker Carlson really believes that bullshit he be saying. Tucker, yeah. they're all of them have drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah, now, yeah, the puppet percent. masters, they know... They know exactly what is but going they, they There's a higher indi- game they got some playing. independent thinkers there, like Shep Crawford is... He's the only one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, not knocking either one. I'm not knocking either I guess and a lot of times what happens is like a certain person at that network doesn't believe in everything that the network posts, but mm-hmm. that network aligns more to their beliefs than the other, than side, the other one. Right, Similar right. to when we vote. Like, none of us... Megyn believe Kelly. every single thing. Th- Megyn Kelly, Kelly pops over to NBC and it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is reasonable. But she also flopped shit. over there because nobody believed that shit. Like, Boom. yo, bitch, we know who you are. Right. Or like we thought, <laughs> like, right? Oh, yeah. But now you're going to see a thing happen where when like a boss or when these these blogs get enough influence in the space, they're going to start going, well, shit, well, 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 how do we feel about hot button topic, trans? Mm-hmm. How do we feel about this? How do we feel about abortion? How do we feel about these things? And what inevitably happens is you start taking a fucking stance in a narrative forms organically. Yes. Right. It's, yeah. it's like, it's going to happen in our life that you're yeah, going to be a sure. boss up and they're going to be like, well, what do you think you should do about immigration? You're like, shit. <laughs> I just got some jokes about it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, can I get I some got, oranges? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, I say this to that stand, like we make sure that because we're not out to like be that salacious or to even like go toward the offensive part of journalism, like we're going to be now times have changed. Right. So we're conditioned to be non-offensive toward LGBT communities. Right. Not that we would be anyway, but I'm saying that's like the. The social standard now right. is that we don't say th- certain things, we don't do certain things, we uh, you know allow people to, if you're trans, if you're whatever. So we're not gonna make those jokes. We might make jokes about something that X Y Z person did, but it's not gonna be jokes. We're not gonna do. You don't care about the community. You care about the action. A si- excuse me, a single action. In other words, like y- you don't care to make statements am- about communities. You care to talk about specific people, behavior yeah, yeah, that a person, that, that, that you, this guy this was caught on the highway, did. mooning somebody. Whatever it is. Here's the and, thing and, about and that. Here's the thing about that. Right, right, but like, right, it's right. not, we're not doing like, even with the Caitlyn Jenner thing, like, yeah, there was, there's a million jokes you could make about Caitlyn Jenner that people made when right. she finally came out as Caitlyn mm-hmm. Jenner. But for the most part, we just played it straight. Now we might find ways to like 
if we can find a creative way to poke at Bruce or poke at the former Bruce or whatever it is, then that's cool. Like we're gonna we might do that, but it's not the artist formerly known as Bruce. Yo, by the way, yeah, start calling Bruce. Bruce. Love it. Bruce. Hey, I don't the know what y'all talking about, but Bruce isn't a good Bruce. example. Yeah. And the reason Caitlyn's not a good example is because nobody cares. Like you can you can clown Caitlyn all day and like nobody will get offended. Well, nobody cares now because they don't really like the oh, Kardashian well, before, Jenner clan. Well, but before she came out as Trump heavy, I think they cared a little. Oh, bit. Boom, that, a little that's part bit. of it too. Well, now when you go out as Trump, too. now you lose all like empathy. You don't really get empathy no more. And she's homophobic, ain't she? Exactly. Yeah, 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 she's yeah, a conservative. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't right, care. That that's shit. not a good example. She's I don't know what y'all talking about. She doesn't believe in gay or something. I don't know what y'all talking about, but that's not a good example. I did a I I talked I did a joke about her. <laughs> like, hey, no, but listen, I did a joke about her on the Young Turks, and I said that Chris Jenner is a pimp. Like we keep uh, demonizing all of them, and I said she's she made vagina so lucrative in that household. She made Bruce Jenner want to go get one. Yeah, and all these trans people started sending me messages saying this this is the language that gets trans people killed, and that it makes they love me to stronger. jump to that. But, but it's like it, it's always like when you you say you retweet something ignorant, like they come mm, for you. Right, but then they'll go. You know, support their local police department. You know she what I mean? That, right. No, but the it, argument is this: is like, hold on, what is the conversation before I get in trouble? What are we talking about? We were, talk <laughs> we were <laughs> talking about gossip and headlines and the things that we write and whether there's agendas and political agendas in writing certain stories and taking angles on certain things. We're talking about how media has shifted. Right, like the use of these big media companies, oh, CNN, yeah. Fox News, all that, and they have agendas. Oh yeah, and yeah, now yeah. you have mm -hmm. blogs that have gained massive influence in the news space. And I'm asking and curious if they're going to start having an agenda organically they've because been, you they've been having an agenda and ooh, their, their their agenda an outside source agenda has is, a hot take on <laughs> gossip. <laughs> they've been had agendas. Their agenda is traffic. Well, or, and that's where and that's where we started that's this the conversation. Right, right. Yeah, traffic. Yeah, traffic, but right, often yeah. it's easier to get traffic if you know a direction which cars are going, mm. right? Yeah, so, yeah, and, and, yeah that's what clickbait and, headlines and, and, are. And at what cost? And the reason I think clickbait headlines are so dangerous is because nobody actually reads the article. Mm. You just believe, yes. what you believe the headline. Right. Like, I'm, get, I'm, yes. getting, like, I'm getting sent a bunch of stuff now from the Jay Z uh, Roger Goodell press conference, right? And I was there. And what are they saying? So I know these headlines. Charlemagne like, comes out as gay. No, 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 no. no, I would never do that. There. Yo, that's what you should have done. Do that Take a Goodell. knee and start sucking Roger Goodell's dick. We don't dick. do that with Bill. Like, what? <laughs> Jay this is how you take a kneecap. <laughs> oh wow! You went there for the cap gonna beat you up. Listen, <laughs> Mom, he's been training, but, but I was, five days a week. But I was there, so it's just like I know what uh, the clickbait headlines mm -hmm. from those right. from that press conference is. Like I'm like, that's not what happened. Like right. out of context, like he didn't say it that like that. But whatever, well, bro. Well, that's, bro, what, bro, that's why about. I don't I don't uh, tweet or Instagram anything about politics. Because it's so easy to get taken out of context. Mm -hmm. The only time that I'll talk about anything, I mean, I, if it's not a joke, obviously I post all yeah, my jokes yeah, yeah. and shit on there, but that's curated material. So you right. know there's a purpose for it. But you know what? Remember back in the day when we would have political discussions on Twitter? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, like you weird. going back and forth, and one of your things back and forth could be crazy. Yeah. If you don't yeah. know what's on the other end of that. Yeah. Boom. But on, but on a podcast, you could hear this whole the whole conversation. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I think I do, I do talk about political stuff because my my a lot of my humor is based in that. But it's just p political. It's politics from my point of view. But that's I, stand up. You should. I'm I talking about on Twitter though. Yeah, even I do it on Twitter. Oof, but I'm, I'm, I'm very like I'm not. Um, I, I'm not a, a political expert. I'm a stand-up comedian, so don't hold me. Don't be judging me to AOC. Now that's that. different, yeah. but you do you do go on the Young Turks though. So when I you're do. on the Young Turks, they look at you as a political pundit, so they kind of do look at you as a political yeah, expert. Yeah, but I'm giving. You, I'm still. I'm very clear about that. I'm speaking about things from my point of view. Yes, this is right. not me saying this is the this way. This is how the world is. This is, is. the law. Yes. This is yes. according yes, yes, to yes, these yes. statistics. I'm like, from the way I see it, this, and I'm very clear about that. So that's why I don't let people bully me, and I don't apologize I'm not apologizing if I hurt your feelings then go to therapy like I do because I'm not here this is my point of view I'm not an expert I'm a stand up comedian I have a point of view about issues and I want to talk about it why do so, we care about I think those are the best feelings. feelings no but I think those are the best POVs the best POVs to me are from the people who aren't the experts who are like you know you watch Fox all day you watch MSNBC all day CNN all right. day those are people who get paid to have that POV yeah. what about the regular 
everyday person who's going through it, who's been through it. Yes. I want to know what they think about yes. this situation. And that, that's why I feel like I, people respond to me on the Young Turks because I'm like, look, I was homeless. This happened to me. This has happened to me. According to me, the way I see it, immigration is this, this, this. I'm not, I don't care about your statistics. I, I will talk about the things that I talk about because I think that, that you listen to The View. It's a bunch of bitches with red bottoms on yep. and Birkin bags <laughs> telling motherfuckers who ain't we'll got, got their... Yeah, but like even Stocks. yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And her souls might be red. Her feet out. Her feet. She have a whole foot out probably underneath that desk. What her the fuck feet we'll look like Obama shoe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, they they get on and and I know you know like when I say when I speak in just because I'm, I'm that's how I talk. But I, I see them and then you got Megan McCain. You got these women that make these amazing salaries, mm-hmm. telling people who don't have their light bill money, yeah. people yeah. who work at towel mills. While, while they got their dog waiting in the car that has its own nanny, this is how life is. This is what it should be. All over the... And it, people are tired of that. And they're disconnected. And you, I, I agree with you. And not only that, they they didn't... I, I'm not, I, by the way, I don't know their backgrounds. So I don't mm-hmm. want to go ahead and say this, but some people just didn't live it. Oh, yeah. If you then, lived it, if you was... I, I grew up in a single wide trailer in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Yeah. When you have that kind of poverty for, 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 for that long, or you grow up in a rural area, or you go to jail, whatever it is, mm-hmm. those experiences don't leave you mm-hmm. at all. I'm going to be in the hood this weekend. I'm gonna be, Saturday, I'm doing a, a fish fry at Monk's Corner Recreational Complex in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. I'm doing a big ass fish fry backpack giveaway. The same thing I do every yeah. year. Like I'm with my, I talk to my people. I'm around my people. So you're out there giving them backpacks and... Diabetes. Hey man, it's the South, baby. <laughs> this is I'm a right. man of the people. <laughs> it's the South, baby. What I'm gonna do is, it's a fish fry, fried fish, fried shrimp, French fries. That's gonna be yeah. a salad. I'll give a little fried salad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of water. Plenty of water. Plenty of water and a little side you salad. You know what? If you go down there with some kale, they will bust you in the head. Exactly. With that. <laughs> it will be that, that, kale. that shit smells bad. They be like, <laughs> kale stinks. So 12 to 4 Saturday, meet me. Monk's Corner, uh, Recreational complex in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. But, okay. but to your point about, um, but to your point about news and like the the pundits and people that's paid professionally to do this, I feel like a lot of a big part of the mainstream media has shifted to more opinion than actual yes. news. Yes, and a lot of that yes. is because. People do. I think they know that people feel disconnected from some of these talking heads that just seem haughty and above them and more, you know, acting in a more intelligent or grandstanding to your earlier point and yeah. the self righteousness right. and all that shit. So I feel like a lot of it just moves to opinions and not information. Listen, 100%. Bossip, uh, Bossip ripped Tommy Laren to shreds one oh, time. Oh, like a top five. Oh, is that the one I'm referring to? It was like a viral tweet off oh, yeah, of we the have a, we have headline. A, yeah, we have a few it was of them hilarious. that, like, we have a few Tommy Lauren headlines yeah. that five, six, seven, eight thousand retweets. And from a news organization, from an individual is one thing where That's you might great. have yeah. 50, 60, but for most news organizations, you get 8,000, 5,000 retweets. Something is crazy. I know that's crazy. your friend. Who? No, Tom. <laughs> no, she's not no more. I don't know why people keep saying that. I don't know exactly why they gonna keep saying that. Uh, <laughs> it's a coincidence she's <laughs> also gonna be in Monk's Corner this weekend. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Getting a drink. I meet a person <laughs> one time. Yes. Not my friend. That's all it takes. That's it. You're right. You're right. It's the same way with dating. If you if you kick it, Carmelo was on a boat with that lady. Who knows that was that That's lady? That's right. Cause black men don't cheat. You see what I'm saying? Oh you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, friendly little boat ride. Friendly little boat ride. Friendly little fucking boat ride. Even, boat ride and I'm even cheating on my wife. I wasn't even buying nothing. Yeah. So, Women, you who can't. Who bought the cupcakes though? Who, was it you or no? Nope. That was Trevor. That, that, that was Trevor. Yeah, that was Trevor. He did. He called. He was doing too much. I don't. I don't even talk to her no more. You don't. But I haven't talked to her in years. I talked to her one time. Give her a call right now. Let's give her a call. I don't know. Never had a number. She's not gonna give him her number. But isn't she like a flop? Like didn't. Album come out. Isn't she like Fetty Wap? Where she I, had like a couple of months of hits and then it's over? Nah, she on Fox now. Yeah, but is she pop? Like I don't see no more Tommy Lauren viral content. You know, going Fox up is like having a Vegas residency you know, for like. Fetty Wap. Her shit's packed every. You know what I'm saying? Like she's over there, packed house every night. She's on. She's killing. Okay. She's killing. Oh, we may not great. fuck with her, but. Who? Said, being on Fox is like being a, a conservative. Mm-hmm. It's like having a Vegas residency for a conservative. It yeah. just seemed like she used to be on my timeline on a regular for saying something, doing the something. The new time, which is Facebook. Candace now. took her wave. Yeah, yeah. Candace yeah, always yeah, yeah. took her well, wave. Well, because yeah, Candace is safer. Like no, a, she's not. No, it's a safer bet for conservatives. Because with black. Tommy, you, you go, you're yeah, racist. Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah, Candace, yeah. Candace is essentially. Remember that guy Milo? 
Yeah. Milo was the perfect yeah, foil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the fuck his name yeah, was. Yeah, 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 it was the perfect Bakugaga. foil for the liberal uh, movement or whatever it is because the the liberal movement a lot of people could say is based on a a victim hierarchy, mm. right? So if you haven't experienced this, don't talk on it. Right. Mm. So Milo is out there as a conservative, a young white, a young white gay, gay guy, gay, yeah. Jewish. Oh, is he Jewish too? Only f- is married to a black guy. Like I, he I think he was claiming every. every yeah, I think he was doing that on purpose just course, to try to avoid heat. Yeah. Of course, but he was the foil, right? right so right. you couldn't say anything about his opinions on LGBTQ because he wasn't. You couldn't say his opinions about race because his husband is black or whatever. Yeah. And you couldn't say his opinion about gay because he's gay. So Cam, they also got him the fuck out of here though. Mm. Mm-hmm. On eventually, yeah, he but, was the epitome of self hate, though. <laughs> you know, what I mean? that's yeah, what I'm gonna say. You know what that is? The outside, you drag him from the people; those communities can drag him. You know what I say? That what that is? That's like when you say self hate. It's like that insecurity. Like mm-hmm. you got to ask yourself why you want these people's validation so much. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, sometimes the people that have bullied you the most, the people who have made you feel the most inferior, sometimes their validation is more valuable than your own. You want to change their mind. That's why so many people love Donald Trump. Ooh, go on now. Talk to because me. they are they are trying to identify with upward mobility. Mm, they see, see him as being a self made man. I can see that. They, they, that's the argument. They don't know economics. They don't really know that he is not the example of a good businessman. Somebody gives you a million dollars and you go bankrupt. You know, like they don't. But they but the. He, he is a white man in America that people see. You saw him on The Apprentice. He's not an intellectual elitist. So there there you can meet with him. You can connect with him on this level because he's not a member of Mensa. He says dumb shit all the time. I say dumb shit all the time. Mm. He's self-made. I'm self-made. Same reason we love rappers. Same, Same reason you, you black and you love a rapper from the hood. You're like, oh, that's me. If he can make all that money, it's, I damn sure yeah, can. There's hope. Absolutely. He's, yeah. a, he's yeah, the yeah. Cardi B of white people. He you is know white. What I mean? Cardi B. <laughs> yeah. Dude. It's like, that's a, that's a, well, cause an Cardi, American, dude, the American listen, green story. You know what? Story. That's fucking, that is poignant because Cardi's, what is a dart? Whenever she said something, it didn't matter if the grammar was right. It didn't matter if the spelling was right. So. But it hit you yeah. right to your fucking chest, right. whatever the fuck it was. And when Trump speaks, it hits. It either pisses you off or makes you happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that shit sticks. Yeah. And there's certain politicians, they're up there fucking blabbering forever about because one point. I, yo, it's the, I say this all, it's, it's like I do when I started doing radio. The thing that is always, you know, I guess made me stand out is I don't know how to do radio. Right. So being that I don't know how to do radio, I just go up there and be me. Donald you, Trump goes up there and be him. So yeah, the language of yeah. politics is dead. But you, and they haven't realized that yet. You have a profound skill that I don't even know if you realize, but you get from A to B quicker than anybody. Because I don't have, I don't know how to get around. Maybe it that is. Shit. Maybe it isn't. But A to B. Few people go as fast. Meaning a lot of people will skirt around or yeah. have a direction or try to get there. A to B. You know why? Right. Two reasons. People always want to try to sound smarter than they fucking are. Yeah. They want to use all these you big words. All this time. <laughs> Get Fuck them. all that. Yeah. And second, I just think people be scared. Well, yeah. plus, let's be clear. A to B is a politician's worst nightmare. Yeah. Facts. Because you got to be honest. Yeah. A to B is not a sugar and pivot and box out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why A to B is not the game. Yeah. At all. A to B is not the game at all. Because you can't protect yourself. You can't even. Yeah, there's no protection. There's no plausible deniability. Yo, you There's know who, no none of that. You know who's good when they go to A to B, but they don't do it. And when they don't try to go to A to B, they fuck up. Who? Joe Biden. Yeah. yeah. If Joe Biden would just be who the fuck he is mm-hmm. and just go from A to B instead of using these political talking points and shit, he wouldn't even make these gaps. Yeah, he's also yeah. trying. To, he's trying to be the Donald Trump of. The left, but he is. He's so not. Let, Bernie nah. is the Donald Trump of the left. No, well, I've, I, I, I've, I've said I that. The same thing. Bill. Bernie is. I think Joe tries to be when he says things like nah. when he says audacious stuff, like he said, "What you the know?" Poor he, kids are just as good he's as do, white he's kids trying to or say what is, white people like, are thinking, but well, can't say. Nah, he wants to be everything right. to everybody. Bernie and he just and can't win like that. I'll be honest. With Joe you. Biden's remarks was poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Right. Yeah, or and, and all the other stuff about you when, when he when he kissing people and, on the kiss, yeah, you think oh, yeah, he's like okay. trying to push mm-hmm. the line for the liberals and the liberals are like no you, you just know, got here can we, I ask, why was everybody so mad about this line because it was it's uh it's it's uh what do you call it um it, it's it's tone deaf and it is 
it comes when you said people said it was racist I felt that it was elitist it's like you saying that poor kids are just as bright but we all know that poor kids do not have the same resources mm-hmm. they can't go as far a, a lot of times those of us that get out is because we're the exception somebody did something exceptional to get us out of there because that's not the standard mm-hmm. so when you're saying it's just condescending because it's just skipping over all this shit and all the issues that poor kids have by saying they're just this smart but let's just put they smart asses in the factory. you're removing white <laughs> people from that exactly and there's, and there's a I, million if, more exactly. white broke ass white people if, than there is exactly. us exactly if I was his campaign staff that's what I would be mad at because you got the black people already <laughs> yeah, we see your black yeah, folks yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Joe you're fucking it up with these poor white people, people. Poor white people. <laughs> how dare like, Joe yes. what do you mean you didn't you think all poor kids are that's black and brown you pulled that's, him out of there that's the most offensive to white people exactly the reason the reason why we're offended the reason why we're offended is because we know the intent of what he meant to say, right? In his brain... He was talking about us. It's right. He's like, poor people are not white and rich people are white. white, white. Now, like you said right now, that's going to piss me off as a poor white and I decide this election, motherfucker. You telling me I'm a nigga? (laughs) (laughs) You telling me I'm a goddamn nigga? That's what you telling me, Joe? Just want to clarify, that was John that said that, okay? It happened really quick after I spoke, but that was John. Just want everybody to know, Okay. It was no. elitist. Yeah, 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 no, it was, it was definitely elitist. 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 Now, listen, I'm from Most Corner, South Carolina. When I do that fish fry this weekend, it's going to be mad white people out there. Mm-hmm. Mad old white people from rural areas. They're going to be coming right. to get free backpacks and coming to get that free food. And do you know how humbling that is? For who? For us whites. Yeah. <laughs> not, not me, because I be standing over them. Like, I know, you be loving it. You hold, on, hold the backpack a little tight. You want it? How bad you want it? Listen, depending on what Trump does for the rest of the week, we might go out there and just start... <laughs> Jump shot and fish. Jump shot and backpack to the white do people. Do it for us, please. Do it for us. Please do yeah, it for us. That's gonna be the boss of Charlemagne jump shoots red snappers. <laughs> please do it. That's gonna be the headline right shit. there. You gotta you, do it better than he did it in Puerto Rico. Oh, my phone was. Yo, his wrist is terrible. He shoot that shit like Lonzo Ball. Fuck out of here. Yeah, the that shit's terrible. Please go live when but you do you, it. You really think Sanders is the Trump? Yes, yeah, I think, so. and, and, and I thought the last election he probably had the better shot uh, because Hillary stole it. That, that's why it's because Hillary definitely stole. I they think stole Bernie, the but it was the matrix, dude. Right, the ecosystem always balances itself, right? Yes. So it's like, regardless of what your politics are, you could say Neo is Bernie, and then you could say Agent Smith or whatever the character is yeah. was Trump. But they both were bubbling up, and they were the extreme versions of both sides. It's A to B, like you said. Hey, Bernie, how do you feel about uh, health care? We need it. But yeah. the price is going to be too high. <laughs> yeah. Pay it! Yeah. Right. Why are you yelling? Because we need to yell! Yeah. Right? And you're drawn to him, no matter what he says. Because you're like, he's real. Yo, he, right. He's not talking in this. Uh, I, he's not I, bullshitting I, me. I went to Mensa. I yeah. did the, you, you know how many people get tired of that? That's why I do well on the Young Turks, because I'm sitting next to these people who are who talking. Who try. They're, they're, that's yes. what they do for a living. <sighs> and then I'm like, yeah, no, nah, that's not what we want. That's bullshit. You know, yeah. like, and I, it, it's, it's so... Uh, it's gotten to the point where now there's an anti-intellectual movement in this country, right? People are tired of it and they don't realize that it's not people be knowing stuff or being intelligent that you're against. Mm-hmm. Is them people utilizing that to keep you down. To manipulate you. Against. Don't manipulate yeah. me. Simple as Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Just 100%. fucking speak to me regular, dude. Yeah. So here's my and question. That's the problem. And Malcolm X used to say, I, I speak in the vernacular so that a homeless man, so that a man on the street can understand what I'm saying. Right. It's like that, that, yes. that is the important thing. Trump is the, our Malcolm X. No. Knock it off. <laughs> Shut up. Well, here's my, here's my question, I don't though. even call him Trump. I call him Nutso. You remember Nutso? Nutso. Nutso. Uh, Nutso. Uh, Ab- above the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 no, like, but here's my question, my though. If, Trump, if, if, if Bernie is the Trump of the left, why isn't he taking root the way Trump took root? He I mean, did. Joe, no, but he hasn't, though, because he no, would he be ahead. No, he did last election. Or last, but, he would tell be, you what. but he would be ahead right now if he really had that power. Well, that, 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 none of his policies are new But I tell you why. Because liberals do not punch people in the face. Yeah. There we That's go. The now problem. we talk about We something. sit around. We think we always try to Pussy. take the high road. Pussy. Pussy. Nobody, because we we perpetuate that intellectual movement. Oh, I don't do that kind of stuff. That's beneath me. Meanwhile, the motherfuckers in the red hats will punch you in your motherfucking face, knock you on the ground, drag you down the street, we'll and go high five each other. Yeah. And we're like, oh my God, that and is so undignified. Just to clarify, just to clarify, they took that from y'all. I'm independent, right? I, 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 so I. But like, 
It used to be the liberals that were out there slugging away, doing the fuck what they wanted, not caring what the conservatives were saying. And the conservatives were like, don't use foul language in yes. your music. How yeah, could we yeah. do that? We Tim must. Gore that is a, that is a rated yeah, R film. That should yeah. be NC-17. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. And then they realized, oh shit, the game is one in the trenches. Yeah. Let, we're going to go do the dog fighting and we're going to see if they could live by their virtues that they talk so much about. Yeah. I mean, and they but, but, snatched that yeah, shit the from y'all, man. Too far left. The liberals mm-hmm. went so far left that the only opinion they care about is the opinion of social media. Like the social yeah. media, I'm serious. Social media is the court of public opinion. If they can't get people to talk about it on social media, they won't even pursue it. Why do mm-hmm. you think they won't even pursue impeachment? Yeah. If everybody was really raising hell on social right. media, like mm. uh, they'd be on that shit. Well, yeah, and that's all they're waiting for is the temperature to hit that Yo. right point so that they can say, all right, the public is behind us. We won't look crazy. But it's because very what is for a lot of people for nuts so to stay in office. And that's on both sides of the argument. Yeah. And whether you want to admit that or not, until when they said drain the swamp, I'm with it. Drain the Yo, whole motherfucking swamp. Everybody, 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 um, everybody in the country, this is the thing that nobody wants to admit. Everybody in the country is going to make more money if Trump is in office. That's what is happening. That's, I mean, that's, that's, like, for now. For now, right? Yeah, yeah, for now. For but now. like, we're talking about like the, the, the liberal, like elite liberals mm-hmm. are making way, look at your retirement. Mm-hmm. You're making way more money with Trump in office. And if a Democrat comes in and gets policy in that's going to raise taxes or, or, or do certain things that are going to affect the way that your money is going, you're going to feel it. So you're effectively voting to... Give away some of your money. Mm-hmm. Now, this is how I vote. Yeah, but not everybody's willing to vote like that. I, listen, I, I understand what you're saying, but at the end of the day, I think what Trump brings to America isn't worth it. And no, the reason I, I think it's not worth we, it is we because we got scorched earth. What difference does it make? Word is wrong. When you when you, when you, got, when you, well, when you, when you if you got people, you know, if everybody's if it's a civil war. Yeah, but everybody and, and, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? You're gonna get shot by some redneck named Jim. I don't, I don't and want we that. Have all the money in the and world. by the way, it's not just gonna be a civil war between races. It's gonna be a civil war between classes. classes. That's, that's, that's what people not realizing. Yeah. That's, that's what this is all about: the haves and the have-nots. Yeah, I mean, nothing showed that more than Epstein. Oh man! Like if you if if you out here and you could affect the haves, you could get got in a fucking jail cell. Oh, yeah. Just remember. It. I, that you part of the game touched. I do love a little bit which is that's just old school that stuff we, we, we hear about but you don't see see that shit in movies like yes. everybody like ah they gonna kill him like oh shit they really killed they him they killed his okay. ass <laughs> they Here's killed my, and his I might ass, be the minority bro. in this but like is it you are the minority in here so am I I like to be the person <laughs> throwing <laughs> that out well actually show to the minority show yeah, I was yeah. So this is the minority. Holy shit. That's what happens when you view yourself as a victim all the time. You don't notice that you're actually the one that's the majority. Is it that hard to believe that he could have killed himself? Or is it just that because of the circumstances, it just feels more like he so got killed? if he did kill himself... Because no sexual predators do this shit. Wait I, can't, for it. I can't go to jail. Wait no. for it. If he did kill himself, they... Yes. Created a situation where that was <laughs> yes. possible. possible. Oh, he right, was on, right. yeah, yeah, he was on yeah, suicide yeah, watch, yeah, right? right? Think, walked away. Walked away. Yeah, yeah, right. The entire time on suicide watch in this detention center, I think in the entire history of the detention center, mm-hmm. I think only one person had been yeah. able to Came, do it. Off, yeah, yeah. Had oh, been able to kill himself during suicide, suicide watch. Right. I think only one. So it is quite coincidental yes. that this happens when there are a lot of people that are potentially. Uh, you know, in could position to benefit. I'm sure somebody whispered in his ear. You can do it, or you can get raped, beat up, and then we can do it. Right. Will they, you hang yourself? They did. Because well, the thing they I read, that I think it was a New York You think Times they did it? Yes, they killed that motherfucker. You don't think he did it? No. I don't think I they, no, no, I don't, I, they I think, killed I don't, that motherfucker. They, killed they strangled him. his life no, out no, of his See, that's what I'm saying. No, 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 that's no, the part no, I don't buy. No, I don't think they killed him. No, they just no. gave him no other choice. They did. Yeah, they put him in a situation where it was. Because they said he tried. The New York Times article said he tried once. But they also said he has some marks on his Oh, say that again. They said he has some marks on his Yeah, and didn't he complain about being attacked in prison? They tried. No, no. They tried to kill himself two weeks ago. Yeah, he tried to kill yeah. So. Your sentence that you just said is exactly what happened. You what? said they tried to kill himself. That's what happened. He tried to kill himself a couple weeks ago. They had him on suicide watch. Then all of a sudden, Took him off. Uh, no more suicide yeah, watch. Yeah, oh, no, the guards went was, away for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh. didn't they say he was assaulted and they found him in a fetal position? No, he, he, I thought it was a suicide attempt. No, there was another one there where he said assault. he was assaulted and they were trying to kill him in prison. Yeah, he was in There's a no such thing. Son, 
What they, do you mean? Because they wanted to get him, they got him the first time. Man, they, 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 yeah. He was look. Like, yeah, I, mean, I, I see prison people probably being pretty efficient at like. Yeah. When, when it's time to die, you gonna die. Like, it ain't like oh gonna, my bad. Oh, 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 oh shit! I was about to get. Oh I shit! Just like fuck him up. Yeah, 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 Oh, okay, okay. He was gonna go either way. They either way. Listen, he got got. He knew too much shit. There was a lot of. I started looking into a little bit. You know how much bullshit. Like I thought this guy was a legit hedge fund manager, right? Oh, me too. I thought he was. I thought he had billions of dollars like they talked about like he's a billionaire right Right. the guy managed this fund that only had one public investor a guy named Les Wexner right who Mm -hmm. owns Victoria's Secret billionaire right one public investor right Les Wexner his boy also gave him a 70 million dollar apartment in Manhattan Mm -hmm. that just so happened to have a lot of digital recording equipment Mm -hmm. in the Apartment. Now, now, what yes. could you imagine? Now, that. You're throwing parties where you have people of importance that are banging teenage girls, and it just so happens that you have secret recording equipment in this apartment that was given to you. Now, to me, that smells like you might want to have a little dirt on people in positions of power so that they could do things that you want them yeah. to do. I, I knew he was done when I saw his picture and he looked like Ron Perlman. I said, it's over. <laughs> it's this, over. Is, this is Hellboy right yeah, now. Dude, it it's over. over. You see, you like, because he was so like, you know, and, and you haughty, like a haughty dude. You know what I mean? And when you saw, you could see it in his face that it was, the clock started ticking. You know? Yeah, Did you see like, this picture? Mm-hmm. What's that? Donald Trump, Larry Epstein, and a goddamn 13 Jeffrey Jeffrey Epstein. What yeah. I said? Oh man, that's yeah. real. Yeah. Michael yeah, Rappaport real. posted that shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, it's Ivanka. Yeah, that's his daughter. That's Trump's daughter. It is. Yeah, he's keeping. See, this is why the internet gets me every <laughs> fucking time, man. That's the shit I be talking about. But da- but but I'm da- like, what the fuck? <laughs> that should still be disturbing. I'm about to say, but let's be clear. That's a creepy. The that's way he be kissing on Ivanka is creepy Plus, as shit. You know this dude is a pedophile. Oh my god. god. Like, Why would you bring him around? Well, well, the thing that was interesting about Trump, right? Like so, and uh, Clinton, right? So one of the girls that was apparently one of the sex slaves came out, and uh, she said in like the deposition or whatever the fuck it was, is that uh, uh, Trump, Clinton, and one other person were never involved in any of the sexual acts. I forget the other person that was mentioned. Shit, that ain't what that transcript said. That transcript said uh, Epstein and Trump was arguing over who to, who to take a 13-year-old girl's virginity. Yeah. No, no, no. The, I'm just saying what the girl who was the sex slave said. That's all I can say. I forget the other person. And even that is convenient, if you ask me. What do you mean? That she said that. Like the, mm. Oh, it just so happens that the one voice that we let are heard, all these sex slaves, but right. there's one... And she just happens to say the ex-president who's in bed with all these people that are being accused, the current president who's in bed with all these people that are being accused, didn't do anything. But all these other people. I mean, the, listen, the, you, you the can't other trust people, anything no more, bro. It's so oh, many setups. I saw that, I mean, from the presidents to, you know, and I'm not saying all this stuff is set up. I'm just saying everything is so convenient. The Kavanaugh mm-hmm. stuff was so convenient. You know what I'm saying? You see Cuomo and Don Lemon get ran up on this week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, just, that Don Lemon shit well, Don was Lemon, hilarious. I didn't see John Lemons get. Uh, well, he didn't get ran up on. He's been getting accused of sexual assault. Oh, son, you didn't I mean, hear what they said he did. He they said he put his hand down his pants, rubbed up on his pubes and balls. No, no, not, not just rubbed. Rubbed vigorously. <laughs> vigorously got a little warm. Got it warmed up, and then took his fingers. Put it on his mustache and put oh. it on this other dude's mustache, and he goes, "You like dick or pussy?" <laughs> that doesn't sound like sexual harassment. That's not- <laughs> that sounds like a white boy fraternity. That shit. is yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, white yeah, boy yeah. fun. Delta Delta uh, like, uh, Delta Delta Delta. Or yeah, whoever the fuck, like, like yeah. Oh, well, the same uh, the same guy they say walked up to Don in the bar and asked Don to buy him a drink. He said, "Let me buy you a lemon drop." That's a fact. Ooh. That was really in the transcript. So that sounded like flirt. That's a bar. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's a bar right there. A lemon drop. Here's the thing, though. Nobody cares. We don't care about male on male. Nobody gives a fuck. Like fuck the same thing with the Katy yo. Perry shit. They said Katy Perry walked up to the guy and pulled his pants and pulled him out. Yeah. And then a bunch of guys came and looked down and see what his dick like. Yeah. yeah. Nobody cares. And you know bro. what? If he took Katy Perry's hand and put it on his dick in that moment, he oh, would be the he'd asshole. Be the, he'd be the. He'd, yes. Absolutely goddamn loop. Only Kevin Spacey though. Kevin Spacey. They got him. They got him. They got him. Kevin for, was doing a, a multitude of things, though. Yeah. Kevin what was, was he just doing? doing a little voice. They said he was a. He, they said he he is a 
He was a serial uh, sexual yeah, assaulter. That was but on, yeah, he would try to fuck dudes, but they were of age. No, no, anyway, it was not, a, not a kid was 18. Look at the thing and they nah, dropped the charges. Boy. He was a little boy. He was 18. Look at the thing know, and man. dropped the I charges. Just well, they said he was just notorious. The, he that, the notorious was trying to get dick. He somebody off because you know it's a bunch of them running around Hollywood. So when yes. they when somebody goes down like that, it's like who did he piss off? And I wonder why yes. only Katy Perry is the what person that's considered uh, the person who should be in trouble. Because if you open up somebody's pants. And then people come to look around, at me again. What the fuck is wrong with what all of y'all looking around? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get all the asses. Yeah, and yeah, who yeah. stands there? Who stands there? Who stands there? 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 Yeah. And that 114 <laughs> yeah. pound white girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Hold on to their pants. That sounds like you're victim blaming. Okay? Oh, That's yeah. really what that right. sounds I like. Ida, I have to be Was fair, he does. dressed a certain way, Ida? Was he wearing a pair of shorts? He shouldn't have wore something with elastic. Yeah. How dare you wear stretchy shorts? Listen, if most crimes commit in the world and most of our social ills were not connected to dick and testosterone I could see your argument right. but I don't I don't I'm so sorry when I hear that Do you yeah. Katie but Perry? when you need your luggage down from the overhead bin what you say you asking some myself. estrogen I'm now you're right she's like 6'5 she's 6'5 like, yeah. yeah. like fuck all y'all yeah. and I'll get your I'll get your shit out too, you good little man nah nah I'd be like you little man you need some help on me real talk if a girl takes my luggage down we might have to argue at least bro that's at least an argument I'm, I'm bro on your do not fuck list Yo, I don't get my own luggage I don't need nobody I don't want to owe anybody shit because when you pay with pussy you cry at the end of the night that's, <laughs> that's what I said sorry pay some bills <laughs> guys everyone knows yes. the risks of driving drunk okay you could get in a car crash all right people could get hurt or killed but here are some surpri surprising statistics almost 29 people in the united states die every day in alcohol impaired vehicle crashes that's one person in every 50 minutes even though drunk driving fatalities have fallen by a third in the last three decades, drunk driving crashes still claim more than 10,000 lives each year. Drunk driving can have an impact, a huge impact on your wallet, too. You get arrested and incur huge legal expenses. You could possibly even lose your job. So... What can you do to prevent drunk driving? Plan a safe ride home before you start drinking. Designate a sober driver. Hey, call a taxi. If someone you know has been drinking, take their keys and arrange for them to get a sober ride home. We all know the consequences of driving drunk. But one thing's for sure. You're wrong if you think it's no big deal. Drive sober or get pulled over. Love the rhyming. Love the rhyming. And we're back to the show. What do we think of um, Jay-Z's... Rock Nation reaching agreement with the NFL to lead the league's entertainment endeavors. Ida? Um, I think that if we're going to be mad about Jay-Z um, on Twitter and Instagram about making a business move that could potentially help and employ a lot of people of color and it's going to be a movement to help us move forward, if you are prepared to protest him on Twitter and Instagram and cancel him, I would like to see your bank statements mm. and to see where you're putting all the money into all of the people who are currently making profit out of your oppression. That's what I what I have to say about it. Hmm. Whoa. What do you think, Ja? I mean, it's, the thing I don't understand, the, for people who are mad, from what I can tell, Cap wants to play football. If, if an NFL fact. football team call him tomorrow and say, I just Cap, found out what Ja was... looks like. <laughs> Here it goes. Ja, I've heard a lot of them, so go ahead. Give me two. You look like all the characters of Atlanta together. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Continue, paper. 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 Earn paper. Earn paper. There you Ooh, go. Earn paper. It's, it's nice. positive yeah, message. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Continue earn paper. Nice. Go on, earn go on, go on, go on, go on. Um, no, as far as I know, Cap wants to play football again. He so I don't understand why it's wrong for Jay-Z. If, if Cap is the reason we're all here, we're all woke to this situation, he still wants to work with the NFL. He's, he got he took the payoff or whatever, the settlement. For it the wasn't a payoff. It was two years well, back pay. Okay, right. So if he wants to play football still, what's the problem with Hove working with? That the is NFL? brilliant. I don't understand. So you know what, if Cap came back in the league, all you would do is buy Cap jerseys and be happy for him. No one would be like, "Oh, Cap, on. why are you doing this?" So Cap, you're the only one that could work at the NFL. 
Like, I just, <laughs> I don't understand. That, that is, brilliant. That's common sense. That, that, I didn't I, put I just, it that way. Like, I didn't realize. That's, that's, that's the, the first thing I thought about front, when I saw yes. Outrage. I was like, wait, y'all are mad, but Cap just put out the video a month, a week ago, the, of him training. Him. Begging to be oh, back man. in the NFL. I want to play football. I bust y'all ass. What's the problem with doing it? I don't get it. I see both sides. I am. I see, bo- I see both sides. Uh, Eric Reed is in the NFL. He protests against the NFL. Kenny Still is in the NFL. He protests against the NFL. Um, I, I really don't see the difference. I, they they working with. They want to work with the NFL. They work with the NFL. Jay's working with the NFL. Now, I think it's two different, uh, two different things we're dealing with here. One, we're dealing with the fact that Colin Ka- Kaepernick's protest absolutely worked because he raised awareness for police brutality in a way that we haven't seen before. That might have been one of the most effective protests that we've seen for sure. in a long time in this country, right? So now that the awareness has been raised, what's the next step after awareness? Action. Yeah. So this is Hove's way of taking action. Yeah. Simple as that. Like I, 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 I and, if, and if, if it can benefit, you know, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people through community initiatives, I don't see what the, I don't see what the problem is. Now, do I want Colin Kaepernick to have a job? Absolutely. Yeah. Would I have loved Jay Z to, you know, I don't know, negotiate something the way? Look, I won't do this unless y'all get Colin back in the league. That's stupid. Yeah, I mean, I don't. That's I, stupid. I, I, listen, I, you play I, in the NFL if you're good enough. There's a reason why Eric Reed is playing in the NFL. There's a reason why Kenny Stills are playing in the NFL because they're good. You're not going to tell me that Ryan Fitzpatrick is better than Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick oh, is still Ryan ball. Fitzpatrick is way better than Colin Ryan Kaepernick. Fitzpatrick. No, no, no. Like, not even in the same league. He's a way better quarterback. Are you serious? 100%. He, can still, he can still ball, though. Colin Kaepernick. He can still ball. It is. It is. He could for, be a quarter. He could be a, a, a. I'm not saying he should be starting. He's anywhere. never going to start. Let me yeah, ask you a question. Be on what team. money did he say that he was worth a year? He said he won twenty million a year. I don't even know. That's what he said. He was. I want. Contract, he wanted. I don't know. We wanted twenty million a year. Now, do you guys think he's a twenty million a year quarterback? No, absolutely not. But so, if he, absolutely not. But if, if you want, he's that, saying that's what it takes for me to play, and you guys don't think so. So definitely, NFL teams are don't think so. Then that's why I'm not. I've playing. never heard him say a number. I just I just know that he's always said they're denying me an opportunity. Now, Roger Goodell said today, any team can sign. Colin Kaepernick if they want to sign Colin Kaepernick. He said any team is free to sign him right now. It's easy to say that. Oh, he has right. to say that. Yeah, he don't, no, he don't. He's full of shit. He don't got to say shit. No, he does. Because if, if not, he it, works com- for the owners. it confirms collusion. If not, it confirms collusion. Oh, okay. And that's the whole argument for Cap was that the, the teams were colluding. Oh, no. Yeah. None of y'all, all y'all know y'all not going to hire me. Y'all talked about this shit. Yeah. Period. Well, the NFL's fucking up because... It's a good partnership with Jay-Z, but the greatest PR move that they could absolutely pull is to sign Colin Kaepernick. For sure. Like, this shit would make everything go away. Yeah, it would change the whole perception. Everything. And all of these activists, these Twitter activists, Mm -hmm. will go back to their day. So, And I think you got to infiltrate the systems because we want to make change. We're not making the change from the outside. We need our people in there to turn, flip the table over. Mm -hmm. The NFL is not going to change if everybody in the NFL thinks the same way. We need somebody to get in there and infiltrate trait what and is I think Jay-Z is really plot, good at the that. plot of every superhero movie right we watch these superhero movies non-stop what is Cap what is the uh, we don't want to talk about Cap talk about Captain America the Hydra infiltrates mm-hmm. shield Right? Mm-hmm. They infiltrate every aspect of culture they infiltrate every aspect of government and they flip it Mm-hmm. Two bad things right, from yeah. the inside out because that's the only way to make change. Mm-hmm. Here you have Jay Z in a position, not even at the bottom, at yeah. the top, and people are upset about it. it, it this it, is how but, change but works. Here's, a, here's, here's my problem. I don't think I don't think nobody's wrong. Like I don't think what Colin Kaepernick is doing is wrong. I don't think what Jay Z is doing is wrong. On a personal note, yes, I want Colin Kaepernick to be in the league but I like the fact that Jay-Z is trying to change things from the inside out and I like the fact that Colin Kaepernick is still out here making motherfuckers kneel I think throughout history you've had engages and you've had resistors and you need both please watch King in the uh, uh, King in the Wilderness Wilderness, it's a document on Martin Luther King Jr. it's a part of the documentary where Lyndon B. Johnson is on the phone with Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. flew to watch California because there was riots going on in watch and Lyndon is like What's going on out there? And and Martin Luther King's explaining to him, like, look, yes, we did the Civil Rights Act. I think we did the Voting Rights Act. But it requires more than that to stop this civil unrest. Because that's when he was making his play to get the poor people's campaign and and to get the the, the money. Mm -hmm. But the fact that Lyndon B. Johnson was on the phone with him calling this guy to say, what can we do? You Mm -hmm. need people 
that are in with those type of people that make real motherfucking and, legislation and it to change the same happen. People celebrating Colin Kaepernick for his Nike deal. Yeah. There were people on the other side of that argument saying, "Do you think Nike doesn't support white they supremacy?" They make the NFL jerseys. Yeah, they're making the NFL jerseys. They're a sponsor they have, of the NFL, right? And they have <laughs> the sweatshops, <laughs> so and they have stupid. people were like, uh, "Way to go, Colin! You're such an activist. You got a million from corporate America, which we know corporations run this country." Yeah. But at the same time. Those of us who support Colin Kaepernick were like, he's infiltrating the system. Well, it doesn't thing. just apply to you. It applies to we we Jay Z has a track record where we've seen in the last few years that his activism is real. Yeah, and that's why yo, oh, yo, Ida, you hit it on the it head. It comes from a good place. It comes from a good place. But who has cash aid, y'all? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Because it seems like anytime a black person does something that a group of black people don't agree with. They get canceled and crucified, and they a sellout. Who has cash aid? Well, the thing about Who? it is, is that I think when it comes to these social change things, it's the same fundamental the split that's been since Malcolm and Martin and with everybody else. The difference between people that feel like you can change from the inside and the people who are vehemently against that. Yeah, and I feel see. like until that schism comes together, it's going to be this thing with every single, like every black person, every anyone who's trying to make a change, if you try to go inside the system, there's going to be people saying you sold out and now you're part of them, you're a suit. And the people on the ground and the people inside are going to say, well, what the hell are you going to do out on the street? That's all they did to Martin Luther King. But a sellout is a sellout is a sellout. It doesn't doesn't matter matter. if you're inside or you're outside. But we cannot, we have to be realistic about economics and what our condition is right now. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that you cannot, we cannot do it outside. We've been asked to run a race where they've had a head start. They tied our leg and our hand behind our back. They ran 17 laps and said, now catch up. There's no way to catch up. Up other than infiltrating the system and economically fi- flipping the table over. We I have agree. to stop uh, deluding ourselves that we're going to march our way into equality and justice and equity. That's not going to happen. You know happen. who loves the marches? You Those corporations march? fucking you over. Man, they love yeah. it. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah, love yeah, that shit. They love it. You know what they hate? Is when everybody at that march puts all their money in the same posi- in the situation. Are oh, they here when everybody yeah, in that march what boycotts whatever the fuck they do? We do it. You, know what what you see, that, you see what happened is. with uh, Bank of America? They pulled out of the the prisons. You know why? Because people made a statement with their money. Mm-hmm. They pulled out of the bank and they said, "We're gonna take our you can't bank have accounts." These and they said, like "We that. are no longer getting involved in this, this private a, prison thing." You're right, Ida. This is a capitalist country. You got to hit them where it hurts. You can either use your money to help or you can use your money to hurt. And you can cry about Jay-Z on Twitter. You know what we got to do? We got to stop. The problem is outrage is a currency, right? So, like, if you get popping off of outrage, right, you're going to continue to be outraged for the attention that you seek. And when you have have a situation where where somebody uh, is doing something, let's say, progressive, like what Jay-Z is doing, Mm -hmm. You're not going to get retweets by going, Jay Z's the man, right? right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't feed the outrage you gotta matrix. You got to find a yeah, way yeah, yeah. to shit on. shit on it because that's going to get all the woke people to be like, oh shit, mm-hmm. he's woker than I am. I got to be <laughs> this woke. You need it. Hey. They got people out. They got they hire people to stir up the the trouble starters. They they hire mm-hmm. those people. You think you out there marching with them? Cointel Pro. Yes. Yeah. And you think that you think you don't you think they don't have cyber Cointel Pro on oh, fucking cool. social just media? Just made it easier. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I can be anonymous. I can do all this. They shit. They think like, of a great tweet about why Jay Z's a sellout for doing this, mm-hmm. and then people start retweeting it, and then they just back the fuck off. Yo, how about we wait and do. see? Because we don't know what's going to happen from this, right? Because, you know, when I was in that press conference, I was pushing the line on Roger Goodell. You know what I'm saying? And pushing the line on over, like, oh, how do you partner with this? How do you partner with the NFL, have a social justice initiative when they are denying the person who actually protested against social injustice a job? Right, I'm asking like yo, yo, yo can, can can Colin get a job, Roger Goodell? Like I'm, we pushing out, so you don't know what can happen from this. It might be an owner that be like, you know what. It would make business sense to sign uh, Colin Kaepernick. I look at it from the Muhammad Ali perspective, right? You remember Ali, when he um, protested against Vietnam, he got his boxing license stripped away. So everybody pulled out from him. Mm-hmm. But as the time went on, people started to realize, like, yo, the Vietnam War was fucked up. It was some bullshit. It right. was some bullshit. Damn. So you know what? Yeah, reinstate his license. He, he, he got his license reinstated while he had his fucking case still in appeal. Mm-hmm. So 
eventually people will come to their senses. Mm-hmm. I think so. Well, when it comes to Hove, my real question is not that he talked with Roger Goodell, because the way the thing was framed, it was, seems like Hove and Roger Goodell had a conversation. They worked out whatever they worked out. They've been talking since January. Okay, cool. But my thing about it, not that you talk to Roger Goodell, did you talk to the other 32 motherfuckers? Because, yeah, Roger Goodell works for them, but if they, they're still not any more with it, than they were before Hove got there. I don't have to talk so, to the owners to do a deal but, with But the if NFL. you're going to do an NFL initiative, you need the teams to cooperate, participate. Nah. How, I, all, I need is the, all I need is the commissioner. Yeah, Really? The owners... and they're gonna, so they're going to be anti the whole thing. When something happens, they have an idea. We want to do this. The owners are going to hate it, and Goodell is going to be like, well, I made a pact with Hove. I'm going to do it anyway. I could be wrong, but I thought that the NFL can make their own initiatives. Well, I, think the I don't NFL, think it's a vote or anything I think anything the like NFL that. makes no, their own initiatives. Vote, the pressure. And then if they don't work out the owners could vote Goodell out after his contract. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. So he wants to do things that appease the owners because he wants to keep so getting that So you don't think there's deal. any chance of them putting pressure on him saying whatever this initiative is, when the detail the comes The owners out, don't, don't want the smoke. If the, the owners are thinking like this. They're like, okay, why don't we get this, this because the owners are all old as shit. They're like, why don't we just yeah. get this young black man and his beautifully talented wife to do all the entertainment and then everybody will be, uh, they're not going to be upset anymore about he's what's going doing, on. He's not doing any of that, though. But you know how they can do that? He's not performing. No, I know he's not performing, oh, yeah, but yeah. you said he would head the entertainment division of the NFL, yeah, he's right? Picking the, he's picking the people. Look, here, here's the thing. I, here's the thing I think is most important about what's happening here, right? Mm-hmm. Jay-Z's not getting paid billions of dollars for this, okay? I don't know what the contract is. I can't fathom that Jay-Z needs the money. You don't need the yeah. money. So here's the thing. Jay-Z is doing this knowing full well it could hurt his image. Yes, he's doing, this, he's doing it because he thinks he can make a he can, difference. He can do something about it, right? And if he's this wrong... This is what fucking enrages and, me. And by the way, if he's wrong, that's on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love like, people I, that help... When they don't have to and they only have anything to lose. Yes. Yeah. I l- like, shout yeah. to Joe Rogan. Rogan does that shit all the time. Has people on all the time to have conversations that can only hurt Rogan. Mm-hmm. It doesn't do anything Thanks for him. Yeah, 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 Bro, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was even uh, talking about the shadow ban that I have. You don't have to do that. You can have Instagram fucking hit him up and be like, yo, why are you doing that kind of shit? You don't have to do any yeah, of this shit. That. Do you know what I mean? But it does it. So it's like, Jay-Z's out here doing something can only help black people. Right. It it can only hurt him and only help black people. And he's still getting shit on. Well, specifically, still getting shit well, on. the thing with Jay-Z is that he's never been able to, it's not his fault, but I feel like within the culture, there's a cynicism toward Jay-Z that started a long time, way before any of this shit. Like, mm-hmm. the idea that even his, his most famous line is almost the thing they use against him. Like, being a businessman I'm and a just business being a, man. yeah and just being about the money when he did the thing with the Nets they said oh Jay Z is gentrifying Brooklyn he's helping them put up this big ass stadium and moving all these people out and somebody and, correct and me if I'm wrong but uh, less than one percent of people got displaced and it created it created thousands of jobs. all kind of jobs thousands of jobs in Brooklyn and when you say displaced it was people that they had to pay those people right everybody got like a check just, we'll, we'll kick them out like we'll kick your house right it's not the best payment but, but uh, yeah I don't yeah. know well, you got to crack some eggs to make an omelet of course but it's a cynicism toward him that whatever you're doing, you're I doing can't help the place. poor if I'm, if I'm one, one of them. them. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, look at you quoting Hope. <laughs> hey, look at you quoting Hope, baby. Okay. All Listen, right. us minorities gotta stick together, man. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really what it is all about. Yeah. Honky ho. <laughs> Honky ho. All right. Boss of headlines. That's what I'm talking about. The, the moral of the story. The moral of the story is that's funny. I'm bro. not against Honky ho. The moral of the story is I don't want I don't want us to make the same mistakes that. I've seen our forefathers make. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Like yeah, I'm right. seeing, I'm telling you, if you watch, please watch King, King in the Wilderness, man, and watch how depressed Martin Luther King Jr. was. Watch how they That's kicked sad, Martin Luther King man. back in. There was a headline. They showed a headline from a paper that said Martin Luther King Jr. is selfish. This Vietnam move was about him, not the actual war. The guy was nonviolent his whole life. Right. Of course he would be against the war. Why would he be for a war? Like, my God. But it's like those headlines, it's like the same type of things you see now. Oh, Jay Z's doing this for himself. We Listen, I don't think he's doing it for himself. I don't either. If I'm wrong, hey, then I'll be wrong in the future. We all look stupid because time will reveal, re- reveal all. But I think he means well. I think he's doing well. I think he has so many other things that he could be doing. The Khalif Browder, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Khalif Browder. Browder. Yep. Mm-hmm. The Trayvon Martin stuff. Yep. The yeah. stuff that he's doing. I think that there is no nuance anymore. We live on one There's side of the nuance is super over. dead. Yeah, and that... And the, the other thing is as people of color, we're not allowed a spectrum. Everything 
everything is either Ooh. we're on one side or the other. It, it, comedy, like, well, you know, when it comes to people of color, like, well, all y'all talk about the same thing. You don't allow us to talk about anything else. There, are, There's Hannibal Burris and there's Earthquake and everything in between. And we should have a spectrum. Jay-Z and Colin Kaepernick are tackling the same issues, yes. but they have different, different methods. Uh, met- methods of doing it. And, and listen... Who doesn't support Colin Kaepernick that cares about equality? And you know how many white people get killed by the police? The 12 year autistic white boy whose parents called the cops to come help them and they ended up choking them Mm -hmm. to death. You don't hear about it because it doesn't stir the pot as much because it keeps us distracted. We're always sharing videos about black people getting beat up and barbecue Becky. Barbecue Becky can't keep you from buying a house. You know who can? Bank of America, who you get your money to, and Ciroc when you buy or. My bad, not Ciroc. But when you're going out there, right? <laughs> my bad, not the black brand, not the, Diddy, not the Diddy Juice, you, that Grey Goose though. That, that, that <laughs> that that Diddy. Juice. But you know what I mean? It's like we we give our money to the things that really hold us back, and then we are always setting fires around things that don't really matter. Mm. And we got to stop setting those fires, and we need to look back. Jay Z may very well be the inroad for Colin Kaepernick to get a job back in the NFL. Maybe some people are acting like he's the, the the nail in the coffin. I don't necessarily see it that way. If you were an all powerful oppressor, mm-hmm. right? Could you design a better system to hold a group of people down than what you just described? Like that would be the perfect yeah. system is, hey, get them all fighting yeah. about this nonsense on the, on the ground, dividing, arguing, whatever it is. As long as they just don't agree, as long as they can find one little thing it's cool, dude. Keep it that wrong. could discredit the guy yeah. who's trying to help them. Make sure they do that. And if we don't find it, po- point it out. So They'll they figure see it out. That Look, is the perfect system to hold people down right there. Look at how many people's jobs we've lost, right? And I, I'm like, if fuck them. If they out there messing with little kids on lemonade stands, right. I hope they lose their jobs. Right. But we use so much power of our power to make that one person lose their jobs, but we don't lose use that power to close a corporation down. Mm. And that's where we. That's why we get so Fuck lost. Fuck, close a corporation, open one up. Yeah, oh it's like, man! Yeah, everybody thinks there's all this value in closing shit. The value is where you Competing. bring the money in. That's yeah. right. You like trust me. You close one thing down. You close Equinox. Another gym is gonna come. It's gonna pop. It's gonna pop up. Like start your own gym. Yeah, yeah. You want a liberal gym? Go. Yeah. You know, it's it's simple. That Equinox shit was so dumb. What Equinox shit? You didn't see this? They were having a, the owner of Equinox said he was going to do a charity for uh, for Trump for, for Nutso, and then uh, somebody for Nutso, and then everybody started. To, I think Chrissy Teague started. She started. We got a boycott. Tell you Equinox and Soul Cycle yeah. and Soul Cycle. Cycle. Right. It's yeah. like you know thirty I mean? thirty of the thirty two NFL owners support Donald Trump. They ain't but but. I'm saying all that to say I'm sure some of those football players go to Soul, go to Soul Cycle. They stop going to Soul Cycle probably. <laughs> I bet you they won't quit playing. This shit, be, this shit pissed me off because yes. it's like it's so annoying. It, everybody, Akash has a great joke about like his like people like how could how could you how could people be okay with the things that uh, that that uh, the people the people that, with the things Trump says about people in the LGBT community this that the other and Akash goes. Uh, I have an uncle. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Uncle's not, uncle's not the president of the United States of America. Yeah, but the owner of Equinox? You, you're not boycotting Trump, right? Now you're boycotting you're the you're owner of your but... gym. The owner of your gym need to have the same political feelings as you? Like, that's crazy, I, bro. I've said on this podcast a million times. Oh, I, I, maybe just maybe we need to go back to a time where everybody well, just tuck their shit. Tuck yeah. their shit. I don't need to know your religion. I don't need to don't know. Ask, wait, don't ask. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Though we got to be fair. The reality of this country is that this country is our government is highly influenced by these corporations. True. So they have a voice, and that is why you know. Look at the guns, right? They made the guns about video games, right? At Walmart, well, shut that bitch down for the teens' clothing section because that's how why Jeffrey Epstein is gone based on that measure mm-hmm. right if you don't blame, <laughs> if you don't blame the if, guns if, if on the video game then we blame it teenage tight jeans on pedophilia <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean that's the reality of it we we you have to 
That that man doesn't just own Soul Cycle. That man owns an NFL team, right? Isn't it Wazenga? That that's really... No, nah, I thought it's Stephanie who's the who's the guy that runs that connection? Ross, Stephen Ross or some oh, shit. Oh yeah, so he yeah. does. He owns the yeah. Dolphins. The Dolphins. Yeah, yeah, Dolphins. Not yeah, he owns the Dolphins. Yeah. So the the thing is that But do you think he gives a fuck about LGBTQ? He just wants to save ten percent of his taxes. Absolutely. That, but so, it's a but, thing but, it's cost, not, yeah, like, but at the at the cost of yeah, that. Yeah, but that, that, that costs something though. Yeah. And if that cost is People either being oppressed or killed or whatever. Let's the talk cost about is, cost. Then it's like let's talk about cost because we all are okay with cost. We just don't acknowledge it. Oh sure, right? Absolutely. You thirty five thousand people die every year in car accidents. Mm -hmm. Not drunk drivers, just car accidents. Mm -hmm. We could eliminate every single car accident death by taking a speed limit and making it ten miles per hour. Y'all want to drive ten miles per hour to work? No, and I got to pee. Now, so basically, we're all sitting here going, "I'm okay with thirty five thousand people dying. We are all okay with collateral no, no, damage. But, but we don't, Every we, single we, we, one of us." But you said ten miles per hour, so that's there's a, there's going a, slow. A, yeah, there's a I don't want you to between. speed. Right. No, but what I'm saying is, those thirty five thousand people that die aren't from speeding; just regular car deaths. Yeah, but that's a false equivalency when you're talking about systemic oppression. That's not. I'm talking about people dying, and we got a solution. Yeah, but we got I, a solution to stop. I deaths. agree with Ida. It's, that, it's systemic oppression. There's a difference between what you're talking about. And systemic oppression. That's a like human this. element too. Like, of like, if you drive a car, you're gonna crash that bitch sometimes. At ten miles per hour, you're gonna live. Yeah. At, yeah, at sixty, you cliff, got, you're not gonna unless you roll down a hill. You you're gonna roll down a ten miles per hour. Get out your car before you go down a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> it's slow. What's the point? What's the point though? My, my point is what I'm saying is we're all okay with a certain amount of collateral damage. Every one of us has a cell phone. This is made by child slaves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so but it, it ain't only a portion of black people who are being oppressed. Is black people be, are born oppressed because of the color of their skin? Yeah, nobody's denying oppression. Nobody's no, denying no, no, oppression. I'm nobody's saying. saying what not. I'm saying is we have to accept a certain amount of collateral damage in our lives, right? So. But we're jacking we, office. But we can't be the expense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. So, so, so if we we can't we can't truly go out and boycott every person that we disagree with because mm -hmm. we'd be hypocrites ourselves, right? Yeah, we're looking at. I'm talking about Stephen Ross. I'm not talking about the president. I get what you're saying, but we boycott. Our interest. That's just the truth to the matter. Mm -hmm. Like if something is directly affecting us mm -hmm. or directly affecting a group that we care about, yeah. then we'll boycott whatever is oppressing and, and, them. And, and oppressing we, them. And we ignore the shit that's fucked up but helps us. We're all guilty of that. Everybody that's right fact, left yeah. is guilty of that, right? That's a fact. So who are we to judge somebody who's ignoring the shit that helps them. If it was, if everything was balanced, if everything was balanced, if yeah. all people had the 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 same reality, right? Then that would. If, that if it was fly. more equitable, we would be able to that look the other fly. side. That's that's, that's, but the, the that's fair too. Yeah, that it's not. And and, and look, and those by the way, us, you can only put out what you can only put out the fires you know about. I didn't know that the head of Equinox supported Trump mm -hmm. until he did it. Until he said that, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, so I can only put out, I can only put out the fires I know about. Right. That's the beauty of social media. They alert us to a lot of fires. Right. They keep us distracted, though. That we get so caught up in a lot of those fires. We just like, gotta focus. Mm -hmm. That's all. But you know, the funny thing is that you know how many people I saw tweet, uh, "I love black people, black people," mm. but I'm gonna watch my Raiders this week. You know oh, how yeah. many people said bought their season I tickets and went that. to those games. And I just do it. I don't tweet it. I just did it. I just kept watching the Falcons. <laughs> That's all. I just kept, I just kept, I just kept watching it. the Falcons. Y'all argue about this shit over there. I'm watching my game on the clock. And what? that, my friend, is what I'm talking about. Yeah, like yeah, if you look at the list of banks that decided to pull out of prisons, mm -hmm. funding prisons because of the the economic, their bottom line was affected. That's how you affect change. Fuck the Jay Z thing. Right. What you doing? What's your money? Right That's now. what Jay said. Jay, Jay said. Jay said. Yo, I can. Sh he said all of these people that are critiquing me. He said I'm used to this. He said you know four or five years from now we'll see where it stands. But he said all these people that are critiquing me. What have you done in the last 365 days? Mm -hmm. He said I can show you how many people I've helped in the last 365 days. I can show you how many jobs I provided. I can show you how many people I've gotten out of jail. What have you done? You got to give some people more cachet, man. I think Jay deserves more cachet than motherfuckers to be saying, oh, he's a sellout. Like, yeah. I, that's, that's actually... The, it's, Twitter has really made everyone feel as if their opinion means anything. Yes. It's yeah. a bunch of useless horseshit. There yes. used to be a time back in the day where there was no Twitter and your opinion only mattered... Amongst your close friends, right. 
And even with them, they'd be like, if you don't shut the fuck up, <laughs> yeah. you useless piece of shit, hey, what the by, fuck have you done in the last year? And by the way, they did the same thing to Colin. When Colin when it, when, when Colin settled with the NFL, mm-hmm. he got a two-year oh, back yeah, rate. Oh, yeah, he was on his ass. Oh, he's a sellout. Yeah, he sold yeah, out. He, got money, huh? he won't talk about, he won't right. talk, talk, take, talk about how much money he took. He won't say nothing. Some people, when he did the deal with Nike, oh, when well, Nike sells guns to both sides, right. how you going to yeah, yeah, yeah. have a deal? I said that about Colin, 100%. How you going to have a deal with somebody that's a sponsor of the NFL? Yeah. So, Yo, you damned if you do, you damned if you, you don't. Win. And the, you got to do you, and you got to just hope your intentions are pure. Right. And then you got to be strategic because there's a lot of motherfuckers on the internet, and, and they got they work at magazines, and they they woke, and they leading charges, and they don't have a plan. All they have is automated tweets that are witty they're very funny they punch hard they drag people when they get in their motherfucking cars they go home and they don't do shit for people Mm -hmm. who look like them and I come from motherfuckers like that because I live on the ground I don't have to tweet that I'm feeding homeless people because I don't need to do that because I feel like I go out and teach classes to single homeless mothers about economic empowerment those are the that's how you you turn the table like you teach people about money right. your people really good at that right the, yeah. the we we don't we are, we are so me busy. as a white guy yes and the Jew Asians listen let's I, pay some bills I gotta I'm Asian <laughs> <laughs> guys I'm Asian what gets up? me out of this <laughs> this situation um guys Squarespace and I'm telling you if you need a website what are you doing with yourself if you don't have a website? You don't have a business if you don't have a website, okay? And now, especially with Twitter, Instagram, all these things, it's amazing how quick you can grow that business if you have a home for it, all right? Squarespace, it makes it easier than ever. You launch your passion project. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, more, Squarespace is the tool for you with beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks. You can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online. And analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box. And there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. You hear that? Buying domains is simple and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people from the designers to lawyers to artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash IDIOT, offer code IDIOT. Back to the show, guys. Okay, we got to wrap this up. Is there anything that was um, pertinent this week that we had to discuss, had to talk about, had to had to get off of our chest? Dude, I think Joe Budden is a marketing genius. Oh, yeah, he got the things figured out. I am so... You got totally figured out. And again, listen, I'm this stuff pops up on my Instagram. Elliot Wilson is posting about it. I'm hearing it like a Jason. I'm not someone who like listens to the show right. or Nikki's show, by any means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is... You are a brilliant marketer if you find a way to turn tragedy into triumph. Mm-hmm. Right. There are many people that couldn't swallow their ego maybe after that first interview with mm-hmm. him and Nikki. Right. And go, or at least the clip I saw about it. She's, she's bad. Like she lost she's it. laying like, in yeah, on yeah, him yeah, and yeah. she came with facts. Yeah. And well, he was dead ass wrong. Boom. hundred percent wrong. And, and she exposed it and he was smart enough and ego less enough to go run it back on mine. Let's continue this momentum. This is mm-hmm. great for Nikki. Nikki's been floundering. This is great for Joe. Right? It's like they created a fucking moment that mm. people were really, and it might have been a situation where people got to see a side of Nikki that they really resonated with. Mm-hmm. And it might, this, this, I haven't listened to the one, I don't know if it's out yet. With yeah, it's Nikki. out, it's out, it came out this morning. Okay, with Nikki and, and Joe, where, where even Nikki's fans start to go, all right, maybe he ain't that bad. Right. And maybe they got history, right. they're cool. It's mm-hmm. like they found a way to do the impossible, which is make something from nothing. Yeah. And you gotta give Joe credit. You yeah, no. gotta give him credit yeah. with that, man. He knows was, his audience. He knows what it is they want to hear from him. And he knows how to flip that shit. I mean, like, listen, I believe anybody who got slapped by Raekwon 
and still goes it's, it's on. Still and, out here, yeah, yeah. still out here making it happen. Um, and and Rick one slap job. Or was one of his? Oh, you don't remember his, that shit? No, one of his. This was when I was listening to Nirvana. <laughs> I was listening to this hippie hop. And, and listen, the reason I I say that is not to emasculate him. The reason I say that is the ability to be that that type of vulnerable. Within a culture of people who penalize you heavily for stuff like that, for sure, and be and is always able to even the with the academics thing, the mm. the way that he navigates through the world, just being a regular person who happens to be Joe well, Budden, that's, and that is admirable because everybody right now is so fucking perfect. Everybody's so badass. Uh, ain't nobody. I wish a mother. Everybody yeah, is that a lot of pretentious shit. And, uh, and the what I will say about the whole thing with the Nicki Minaj thing is when I think about modern day celebrities I always think about Michael Jackson and Muhammad Ali right so while M Michael Jackson ran from the people Muhammad Ali walked with them mm -hmm. and I just think that this is the era where the people want you to walk with them yeah. and I think that yeah. that's why so many celebrities struggle because th there's this thing about you hot right now and no matter how many what a following you have when the machine decides you're not hot anymore mm -hmm. you melt down and the truth is that the people should speak for you and you shouldn't fucking continue. We can't live our lives about what the machine says. I don't give a fuck. Because the machine says a motherfucker who yeah. ki kisses a cat on YouTube is bigger than us. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we, we sitting around here writing and trying to create shit. Yeah. So I'm like, popping. I don't know about you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm hot right I'm Andrew, now. I'm, I'm Andrew Schultz. You know what I mean? Yeah, YouTube.com slash the Andrew Schultz. It's not shadow banned yet. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> no, what but, you gotta be, though. No, right? no, I, I hundred percent agree with you. A, uh, a thousand percent. It's uh, yeah. You you touched on something interesting. I, I've been curious about what Joe's superpower is, and I think I missed it because I operate in like a white world as well, mm -hmm. where like being vulnerable is a okay. lot more acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a romantic comedy. Yeah, all the time. Exactly. And Joe, I think. He, the reason why he's such maybe an outlier and sort of why people gravitate to him um, so well is because he's that exactly. He's open. The book is open. It's not mm -hmm. closed. It's not shut. It's not trying to create this image or facade. It's, yeah, I've had some mental health problems. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah I have yeah, this. Yeah. yeah, I've had this. It opens the door for people who are struggling. When To, to you, that point, when he when this shit happened with Raekwon and the Wu-Tang... I had no clue about this. So this was probably, what, 2010, 11, maybe? Maybe even earlier than that. Maybe nine. But it was. I think XXL had put out a list. It was like a brackets thing, like uh, March Madness type time. Okay. Rapper brackets. Yeah. And I think it was, I think the beef was specifically with Meth. It was like Meth was ranked higher than him in whatever seed. And he went, he was still, he was like one of the first rappers, you know, really doing the YouTube, internet, Joe Budden TV thing. He was going live, not it. live, but he was... Recording himself all the time. Love it. And he was basically ranting about there's no fucking way in hell Method Man is better than rapper than me. Bum ass Method Man, blah, 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 blah. They seen him at a festival, punched him in his face, had a big ass bruise on his face. And the first thing he did was hop on the camera and say, yeah, with ice pack. Yeah, they just fucked me up. I just got my yeah. ass whooped by Wu-Tang. whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop And it was like, it was a joke, but that became, to me, it became a big part of establishing that thing of like, I'm shameless. I don't care about being vulnerable. I'll show y'all whatever y'all want to see. Yeah. And eventually I'll turn that tragedy into some kind of triumph. Yeah, this is, I, this is something very common in like the white world. Mm. Yeah. Like this is yeah. like every punk rock band is, yeah. I was beat yeah. up in school. Right, right, Do you know right, what right, right, right. <laughs> They, like they made fun of me. My mom's a bitch, she yeah. doesn't love me. Right, right. So now, and, and there is value to it, right? Like you can, if if that's in the the wrong hands, it can be manipulatable, right? You can yeah. manipulate people. If it's in the right hands, it can be a positive message for how to handle your insecurities. Right. You can yeah. be right? Eminem, or you can be uh, fucking uh, not Childish Gambino. What's the other kid from? What was the other young kid from uh, Brooklyn that was out here running around rapping? Anybody know Charles him? Hamilton? Charles Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. You can be you can be that guy. Of course, I would know. Of course, you would know. Fucking Charles. <laughs> that Honky good Hove. white that white name right there. Honky that Hove knows all the rap shit. I fuck with him. But shit, you can be you can eat either one of those guys. And and, right. and Eminem goes on to sell ten billion records, and Charles Hamilton is probably somewhere in Flatbush Fat. <laughs> like, and that's just how, you know, 
you know, it's just how it goes. <laughs> what happened with Flatbush Fat? No, we're talking about uh, Joe and, and the Nikki situation. And What uh, happened? I didn't hear it. Uh, I just thought he, I did, I've only heard clips on Instagram, but I thought the whole thing was handled brilliantly. Like it, they created a moment and they had a part two to a it's, moment. It, all this shit is wrestling, bro. Great. It's like, but, yo, and, and it's, it's all wrestling. Like I can, like me and Nikki talk, like me and yeah. Nikki text each other. Like we argue over the phone. Why are you wasting the content, bro? What do you mean wasting content? Put that shit on the airwaves. For what? <laughs> like, like for what? You out here with like, senators and shit yeah, talking about like it. fucking healthcare. I, Boring. And Get way, that drama going, by way, son. By the way, I love Nicki Minaj. My, my, all I've ever had for Nicki Minaj was constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. That's it. About her music and her attitude. That's it. Right. Ain't no beef with I don't have no beef with Nikki. Like you don't have no beef with me. Not that I, I don't I don't I, to be honest with you, I don't know. I just know Nikki knows how to create compelling spectacles. Right. <laughs> All right. right. She and it knows works. how to market. Whenever yeah. she drops a record, and if you've been watching the formula ever since she's at Queen Radio, she does it. She'll put out a record. Episode. Our album, Queen Radio episode. Mm -hmm. And she just stirring up them waters and catching them fish. Mm -hmm. And we just eating it up, eating it up, eating it up. And I'm like, go ahead, Nikki, do your motherfucking thing. Because it's, it's it's entertaining. Has it it's worked for the records though? Has it has okay. worked for the, I don't think it's worked for the records. It's worked more for the radio. It's worked more for her personality. Mm -hmm. Yes, because hey. we're finally feeling some Nikki. That was all. I was my. That was my criticism that it got us in trouble. Well, but it, it was just that, like, all we know about you are these characters that you play. You're like 14 different people. It's mm -hmm. schizophrenic. And then Cardi comes along and she is unapologetically herself. That's way easier to gravitate well, the to. The character that I love that she plays is uh, the rap game's Monique. And we call her Monica. <laughs> right? and, I, she, and, and and she loves us for real. Okay, so that's like I don't I don't like it's fun. It's funny to me. It's interesting. It's entertaining. Game is Monique. Monique is crazy. Monique I, came I don't at like you. That, by the way, recently she did. She Are did. you not even responding to it? No, nah, I mean it's like what I'm supposed to say. She says she don't buy me selling mental health. I'm not selling mental health. I go to therapy. Oh. I got anxiety. I deal with depression sometimes. Like. What is the, what is that to sell? Like, like but that's let's, sell let's say you are selling. Let's say you're selling mental health. Mm -hmm. Are you a therapist? No. So how the fuck are you supposed to profit on <laughs> Man, mental health? Up, <laughs> no, I mean that. Like, no, you mean like, like, how like, do you be selling mental health? Why would not, like, why would you oh, sell you, some you, shit you, you, that you, you can't you, make you. money I on? You, I got you. It's the same thing with Jay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like if you really want people to go out there, you're saying go out. People there. would say I put out a book. Yes, so that people are introduced to mental health. I didn't even do it for that reason. Yeah. I just was telling my story. Sure. My Whatever reason that you do it for, it doesn't matter. The way that you make money off of an idea is not by selling one book. That book promotes another commodity that you own. Yeah. If you, for example, hey, Atkins diet, you know what? You guys shouldn't eat bread. Bread is bad. But I got this cool bread substitute that you can buy these bars. But what, don't worry about that. Bread is bad. Bread is bad. Oh, you guys aren't eating bread. I need something to eat except bread. Oh, I happen to got these little bars that you can eat. But that's not what I'm selling. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you yeah. don't have the come up off the hustle. I don't have nothing to sell. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a saying. horrible business plan. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> if you are trying to make men I don't have the t-shirts. Yeah. I went for my fucking self. But I wear t-shirts that say invest in your mental wealth, anxiety, depression. I went for me. But that's where this <sighs> cynicism just got to die at some point. Like it's, certain things are worth being cynical nobody, about. Bro. It's like but the second the you try to help. But kills yeah. everything. And it's like if you're just going to be cynical about everybody's intention, if nobody is genuine and nobody is pure, exactly. and everything is a exactly. ruse and everything exactly. is a hoax, then it's like what are we doing out here? Absolutely. I don't understand it. Yo, we believe... That there is a global international conspiracy to kill Jeffrey Epstein in a heartbeat. <laughs> hey, Jay Z, want to help black people? Nah, 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 nah. wow. Nah, nah. Y'all corny for this. <laughs> Y'all corny. <laughs> Ida is here because of Monique, though. In what a happened? roundabout way. Yeah. In a roundabout way. What happened? Paved the way. I, I, yeah, I won't. I will never uh, disparage. A female comedian. Oh, Monique puts you on. No, I'm just saying that oh, she's paved the way for many women of color, and she won an Oscar, and she's very funny, and I do think that she's worthy of the re of, of respect, and I'm never going to talk bad about her. I agree. I, 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 I listen. I have. I agree with everything that you said. I have no problem with Monique. Once again, me running my big mouth, saying what I think somebody should and shouldn't <laughs> get. I was just talking about. Her initial Netflix, I was just like, I don't know if she should get as much as Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Amy I, I, Schumer. I think that we, um, 
we as people of color, we have a lot of issues with self-worth. And I think that a lot of times we set the bar. We 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 have to we don't need to set the bar with other marginalized people. We just need to we just are worthy. Like when people say Latin women are very um are known for saying well, we don't make as much as black women. Well, black women don't make as much as white women. Mm-hmm. So right. why is why are and black women the bar? None of us make as much as Asians, right? I so get what the, you're saying. I was just looking at it from a business perspective, yeah. though. I well, get, I mean, I, I listen. I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't. I don't need to be in anybody's pockets to know that I think that Monique is worth more than five hundred thousand dollars on Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. That's my personal opinion. But she's not. Yes, she is. No, no, Absolutely. no. What are you basing it on? I'm basing it on her years of comedy, her selling out venues. Her value as a comedian, her ability to do what a lot of the people who are on Netflix cannot do, and that's move a room. Because yeah, I watch, yeah. I watch Monique, and I mean, I Monique did Shaq All Star Comedy Jam. That does not mean I don't have to t- mention Amy Schumer when I talk about Monique. Her name is worth more than so, that. And, and so, by the way, I don't know what Monique not. should get. I just know she shouldn't have got five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Even look, when, look, when here's the thing: people, you and I both know a lot of comedians in the game that are fucking hysterical. Right. That if if this game was based on funny only, they should be getting 30, 40 million from Netflix. But you and I both know there's a difference between funny and the funny business. Absolutely. And what I will say to you is when you see Robin Robin Williams, who was not doing stand up anymore, and people will tell you he went, he's an uh, award winning comedian. He's a bona fide actor. It was fine to in order to present the value of Robin. But now when you tell people that Monique got an Oscar, oh, but this is stand up comedy. No, her whole package is worth just what time, what another. Uh, uh, and if you if you do it with them, you got to do it with I her. Agree. All my stats. And I agree. so what I'm saying about her is I'm not saying give her ten million dollars, but what. I'm saying when Wanda Sykes even said my offer was pretty low. Like I, I, I when she first got her deal, there. If you compare the deals compared to the others, and you see a lot of a lot of people on Netflix who they you know. like you 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 and I are comedians, so you know we watch some of them specials and we're like, what the fuck? They're they're not making a lot of I, and by the way, some of those people, I'm not gonna say their names because yeah. <laughs> I would just no. want I don't want to do research. I've asked. They getting a quarter million, a hundred thousand. Like, <laughs> yeah, that nobody's making money on Netflix except the big guys. The big, the big, Chappelle big, big and them dogs. making yeah, yeah, 20, yeah, 30, yeah. 40 million. But the people that aren't them, Amy got it, right? She's our, she's our, without a doubt at the point in time, regardless of what you think about her comedy, her she was the was biggest name. Yeah, she was, she was in fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. movies, right? Yeah. Monique was not selling out arenas. You and I both know that. No, she was not selling out arenas. She was just worth more than half a million. I, I think but, but, she but, just wasn't worth what they were worth, but she was worth more than half a million. Uh, plus, Wait, you're the, worth what you're worth, right? Like now, if you and I want to say, let's pay her based on what she's done for comedy and what she's done specifically for women in comedy, worth way more than half. Listen, a million, if bro. you look at oh, way more, but, but you don't get paid for what you did. You get paid for what you're doing. That's but, right. And that, go, go ahead, like, I agree, but you look at that roster on Netflix of comedians, and you see that who was there before Wanda Sykes? What some more was the only black woman who had to produce her own special she licensed it, yeah. and, se- and sell it and you're Netflix and you're like wow there is look, and I'm on Netflix there's a void here there is absolutely a void and you're not going to tell me that everybody on Netflix is selling out arenas that's yeah. a fact I, I will say this I wish people could have heard me uh, I was in LA this past weekend I was we was at the table arguing I don't think Eddie Murphy should get $70 million. Oh, yeah. he's. I mean, you always what, getting what, in trouble. I know. I just be, I, I, and I love Eddie. But I'm you saw, saw 2019. You saw Kevin Hart take my take? What did he say? He said on his podcast, remember I was saying Eddie Murphy should go right to... Uh, to uh, pay per view, he should. And then on his fight, he's like, "Yeah, someone said." He said, "Someone said." He's like, "He should do a pay per view special, just cut everybody out and do." It. And I hundred percent think Eddie should do that. But seventy million dollars for Netflix, you're when you pay somebody that much money, you're paying for two things. You're paying for the name Netflix to be associated with every single drop that's in the news about that special. Think about think about think about the advertising that they got for free just throwing it out there that Eddie was mm-hmm. going to do it for 70 million. All of us tweeting the news the coverage, hype the hype alone and it was when we Netflix say hype though, we got to be we have to acknowledge the fact that when you say Eddie Murphy, that is age specific. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. That is age, but you talking absolutely. about everybody that's a, like 
35, 35, maybe 40. 40 no, no, 35. Oh, yeah. I'm 35. You're know, you a comic, yeah, yeah, yeah. though. You're yeah, yeah. a comic. No, but before I was a comic, I, I started comedy because Delirious. That's the reason why I'm in comedy. You I remember many, exactly. But you know, all the, a lot of comedians were like, we, we can't wait to see um, Eddie Murphy fail, like the younger comics. You know, he's not going to come back. <laughs> That's whack. You see all these the corny dumb ass tweets. haters, man. But what I will say, though, it created an awareness, mm -hmm. and then there was action. Now there's Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Boom. opened the door for six other people. Right. Now Boom. there's Wanda Sykes, who has one of the best specials on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And if you say that is not, then you a motherfucking hater because technically it's sound, performance, the writing, and the funny is yeah. all there. And it just hit Leslie Jones, didn't they? Didn't it just give? Didn't, didn't, didn't oh, Leslie? I don't know. I thought I, I thought I saw something about Leslie Jones. Uh, getting, that, but that's why I said Monique in a roundabout way. Yeah, she, cre for your she special created. Because she rocked the boat. Netflix wanted to do something, and who else to go grab than Tiffany? And Tiffany did what we all should do, empower other people. Mm -hmm. Well, plus, like, if I'm Monique, I mean, I, I agree. I don't know the 500,000. I mean, I guess I don't know if it she was, was 300, worth it right? She got all 300. Know. But let's be honest. Netflix is so far in the red with the, like, they're never going to make the money back anyway. So if I'm Monique, I'm looking at them like, y'all throwing this money out the window. Like, you can't right. throw me some of the bread. Y'all throw all the money over there. That there by the way, that would piss me off, too. Y'all in the red. As soon as you get to me, like, you know what? Let's be a little conservative with this over here. I'd be pissed. Like, yo. Y'all motherfuckers hemorrhaging money. <laughs> like, what are we doing? How do you know Tiff, Ida? Tiffany. I mean, I know, but I'm just... We've been friends for, um, since I started doing stand-up. She and I, we've been friends for like 11 years. When I first started doing stand-up, she's one of the first people that embraced me. Mm -hmm. And was like, oh, I know why they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, they, they've been talking about you. And she, we became friends and we've been friends. She she really like showed me how to get my money. Like, wow. well, I would call her and say, hey, I got this offer. And she would be like, nope. And don't leave your house for free. You're not, this is what you, because I would, I I felt like I had imposter syndrome in comedy for so many years. Yep. You just want to get on stage, and you just and then you start messing, you start messing yourself up when you start taking whatever they give you because right. then they're like, oh, but you you're so happy to be here. So she was was one of the people that was like, you you have to learn to assert your worth, and she taught me a lot about the business of stand up. The other thing that she taught me was. Don't go around talking shit about people. Even when they talk shit about you, just give them a hug and keep it moving. And that's where we meet. That's why she has a relationship with her mother and I have a relationship with mine. Or is because you didn't have a choice. Mm, I did have a choice. <laughs> your I mom just, stole your ass. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been mad at her in the future, though. I could thank like, you again. <laughs> you know my mother. <laughs> Tiffany really like that though. Like <laughs> Tiffany is not going to talk bad about a person. You like, shouldn't. Like I, I, I'll be on the phone with her, and I'm the one talking bad about somebody that may be fucking with her, and she's like, "Nope, I nope. bless them, I love them," and I'm like, "That that inspires me." She re Dude. she direct. She handled that Tracy thing way better than I would have. Tracy who? Tracy Morgan. Oh, no, uh, I, mean, yeah. I, I, I'm not. Dude, that, that was I didn't like that. Yeah, I, was, I didn't like I it didn't either. Like and that, I had no attachment was, to the situation, but I was like, "That's kind of wack," and she kept it super cute. Like I'm not going. to... Like you said, give him a hug, baby. Even Cat and, Williams, and keep you know, she's Cat Williams too. Yeah, she's just too. not. That's not her energy. That's, not who she is. that's right. why she keeps winning. And as much you can put all that hatred on her name, and uh, God is going to open up the world for her because that's not where she lives, and it's not fake. Mm -hmm. Because you talk to her on the phone, I talk to her on the phone. She doesn't live there, and she inspires people to be like that. Like that girl took a pay cut for us. You hear me? A pay cut. Wow. A substantial pay cut. And while you hear these big old deals, 50 million, 70 million, 90 million, who, how many people took somebody with them? That's she right. took six people with them and she made sure that they put respect on our names mm -hmm. when they sent us those offers. Right. And you, come on, man, how many people do that? Let me tell you something, I'll fight you over Tiffany Haddish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I genuinely love her. Like, she's that good of a person. Like, yeah. she's that good of a human being. Like, you know how you hear certain people talk shit about people and you're like, nah, we ain't doing, no, you can't do that. Because right. she not, she don't deserve that in no way, shape, or form. Yeah. Talk shit about me. I deserve it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They do. <laughs> <laughs> they were, but you gotta understand, like, comedy, comedy is a very fickle business in, in a way that, like, oftentimes, the people that comics speak highly of are the ones that, one, they're not threatened by, or two, they're being fed by. Yep. You know, like, oh, yes, if they, that's, that's and, and I, and I, and I learned the game early. Like I, you know, I'd be at the cellar hanging around and then like a comic that was very well known, but maybe not beloved by comics would come by, you know, a Dane cook for something for, you know, and 
comics when Dane's not there talking all this shit and those same comics sucking dick as soon as Dane walked in the room when I saw that right and I was like yo what is going on and then then weird shit you see you you see like you see dudes hang out with you and then talk shit about another comic that's their friend Mm -hmm. and it's like if you talking shit to me about your friend. What you saying? What you saying about me when I'm not here? By the way, what you're saying right now is exactly why I go from A to B so fast because I can't be fake. Like if I have a conversation about somebody <sighs> to somebody, when I meet that person, we I gotta have talk to, say it to them. We I gotta have talk to yeah. say it to Bro. them. I, I, I can't live with myself if I don't say it to them. And you know what's crazy is like, I had this, like that's what happened with Judd Apatow. Like when Judd was at the cellar and I'm like, I was, he, he was there and it was right after he was tweeting shit about Louis C.K. Mm-hmm. And I and I asked him and I was at the table. I was like, yo, what was that all about? Like, I just started the conversation about like, what? why would you do that? You know? And all these comics were were at the table and a lot of them were like, yo, that was crazy. You said that to him. And I was like, why? <laughs> why is it crazy? Last week we were all saying that about him. Now he's here. Hey, you don't have Keep why that same we energy. Not say it? Don't look at me and wink. Yeah. Don't yeah. kick my leg under the table. Nah, fuck that. But, and, it's, and you don't even got to be aggressive about it. You could be curious. You yeah. could. It's not a fight ever. That it's makes just like, you honorable. Like that. Yes. It makes it, let me, let, That's the word. Tiffany. A lot of people used to talk about her sexual content, and we had a conversation one time. This was like maybe five years into our friendship, and um, I told her I said. It makes me uncomfortable, right? And we talked about the reason why it made me uncomfortable because mm-hmm. I was molested. So when I hear people talking about sexual, I see these comedians talk, men and women, I cringe, you it's know? So loose and yeah, so because I'm like, I, and I marvel at the fact that people can talk about all the sexual stuff that they can with such freedom and power because I, I feel like I was still in bondage. Mm-hmm. She and I cried on the phone together. But I had that conversation with her instead of all these motherfuckers that are always talking shit behind her back and now they sucking her dick on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing that with my friend. That's, I can't call her my yeah. friend. But we had that conversation and she she addressed it. She's like, I know you get weird. You leave the room. Like, I think you hating on me. And I'm like, no, nah, I'll, I'll fight a motherfucker to the death for you. But that makes me uncomfortable because of this. Yeah, it is, it is an interesting and it's a good quality that 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 Tiffany has to allow that because uh, there's the saying is, you know, prophets let people convert. Now I'm not putting that on Tiffany to be Mm. prophetic, but you can't carry hatred. Like when you get in a position of power and leadership, Mm -hmm. remembering every person that wasn't that nice to you on the come up. Oh, the I'll show you people. When they come, when they convert, when they come on and they support what you're doing, they find salvation in you or they find it's like, you got to allow them to No. No, no, Charlotte. Suck this dick first. Nah, <laughs> and, and I mean that in a disrespectful way. You gonna suck my dick? Fuck you. Suck my dick. <laughs> Apologize for the bullshit you did to me, bitch ass. No. And then, oh. then if they're doing you wrong, I that's think one about thing. it. That, they, that's why people. If look they're doing at you wrong, Kanye, that's one thing. They look at Kanye like he's crazy now, because when Kanye got on the scene, he was like that A and R person passed on me. That A and R. He's yeah. on the radio. Yeah. This person. Finally, that he's 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 reconciled that within himself, right. and now he's like, I gotta be zen, cause like I said, this shit causes cancer. Oh, Kanye is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> look at Kanye, right. he lost his mind. See, my thing is though, you just gotta get to a point where once I get it out, I'm cool. Cause you gotta understand, people when people tell you that you ain't gonna ever be shit. Oh yeah, no, I know. When they tell you that you're not gonna make it, I, mean, how- I, I had a program director named Boogie D, and I mean this in the most respectful way. Boogie D, Boogie D told me that's why I'll never make it in radio. Yeah, I, 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 he needs to be known. Yeah, well, I, I gotta name him. Why not? Why? Why you, not? You already won. That's I not enough for you. I, but I gotta tell the story. I'm just telling the story. Look, you could tell the story. I guess I I'm not gonna. I wouldn't. I know that you know. But why you, you give Boogie some shine? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, man. Already you book. won already. <laughs> and if like Boogie that. comes on board, and if Boogie comes on board, that's him admitting he was wrong. He don't have to come on board. No, I'm talking about the people that come on board. If the people keep hating on you, fuck that. Fuck the haters. You don't even got to mess around. Well, here's the thing. You win, you're, you win whether they come on board or not. You win already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So about success is the best revenge. That's the best. In the, in the entire thing. So it's like we all have people I know. I'm sure we all have exact stories where, you know, we heard little. People act like the shit that is said about you doesn't get back to you. Like. Mm. The comedy world is small. The radio world is small. Like, the world is small. The world is small. So it's like when, when cats are like talking shit behind your back, right? You don't think that someone's going to tell me that? Right. We live in a gossipy ass business. I love it. Yo, 
Because you know what? I'm gonna tell you another reason I love no. it. I'm not the type of person that's going. I'm, I'm not a. I don't care about like acknowledging it or pressing you anymore. You're just dead to me. Yep. See me if and that's even better. If you come on on board, that's even. You're already on board. If you're spending your time hating on me, yeah. Like if you're getting online, if yeah. you're doing whatever, you're making videos, whatever. If you're spending that much time hating on me, you already on board. I, I got so nah. much. I got so much space in your head. I'm cool with that. Yeah, but my feeling is like once you come on board, it's like I have that responsibility because I knew I saw something that you couldn't see in that moment, and now you see it, and it's like, yeah, I know. I know you couldn't see it because maybe you were bitter or maybe you were angry or maybe you were upset with where you were. And I knew that about you then. And it's okay. Now you're where you need to be. So let's all get this money together. I, it's, I, it's, I, you're forgiven. Let's all get this money together, man. Like as long as you're not, if you're disrespecting me, trying to actually fuck me over now, then it's fuck you forever. Not forever, but it's fuck you. But if you've come around, you realize that's enough for me. You know, it's no apology. Hey, hey. Are we all on the same page? We yeah. all when everybody's trying to silence comics, are we all on the same page? Yeah. And we're gonna protect each other? Cause I'm gonna ride for you. Yeah. As long as you're a good comic, I'm gonna ride for you. And I'm gonna put it on the line as long as we all got each other's backs. Have you felt that this week, Ida? Well, yeah, I've had a lot of support. I feel I felt that way. Like with the Dina Shem thing, like I was gotta ride for her. But, I, but let me who tell you this this is a, a a comedian who did a joke about Triple X. Oh, okay. And I know it got, that. Oh, it became, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What I thought was funny though, like James Davis is my friend and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit on Dave. I like James. James. I called him the second I saw that. Day. And I, I I although I thought it was handled improperly, I was gonna call Dina and say, Yo, I don't know if you know those X X X fans, but they're not wow. they will come for you. <laughs> wow. Like before I saw I wasn't gonna put her on blast. I was right. gonna say, watch her back because motherfuckers tattoo Florida. Ba baby bottles yeah. on their faces. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? yeah, it's real. Gotta, you just, it's yeah. Can we just be Very can we can agree on people. that? But James did what he did. What I thought was funny was how many men who are comedians became feminist in that moment and were like, Ooh. she only, they were, they were defending her. She's a female comedian. If it would have been a man who said this. And I was like, the only reason you are defending this she's is because you, you want to say shit that is, Just you like want to talk shit about black people and you want, and, and this is giving you the segue into that. And that's why I didn't jump on either side of it because right. I didn't, I didn't think it was cool to jump on James. James the way they jumped on James. Like, people were calling him a bitch. They were, they were like, you should be out of comedy. That's G-code that he broke, though. That's With, the problem. 100%. But he's a black man mm -hmm. who watched the assassination of another black man and was sensitive about that. Yeah. And that's something that a lot of... And also, when people were like, well, X was a ra uh, beat up his pregnant girlfriend. <laughs> that boy was 20-something years old. A lot yeah. of those comedians that were tweeting about him were 40-something years old. Right. I would love to see your shitty ass when you were 20 and see what you did back then. You a full, evolved, whole man now. You making, my, my feeling judging was... Judging this young boy. Yeah. And tough I, though, right? Because say what? what she said, she something. She said something very important. James Davis is a black man. Yeah. So seeing that is triggering. But then he is a comedian. So y'all do have like a a culture Absolutely. and a community. So it's like, damn, what comes first? We yeah, you could put, like you said, you could be more our, than one person. Like we, you could be more than one thing. We have to police our own village. So that's my thing. Is you don't go to Instagram and say Comedy Central, y'all. You say, hey, Dina, let me tell you something. I was gonna tell you her this. I believe you could say whatever you want to say in comedy, mm -hmm. right? You go to Miami with that old fuck shit. You go to Liberty City. You could be white and say the N word all you want. Deal with the consequences. Just know what it is. Deal with the consequences. That one of them that. boys yeah. from it. the Scott's Project is going to jump up it. and knock your teeth out. That's and when it. they say, I'm calling the police, they'll be like, I live there. Call him up. <laughs> yeah. Tell Officer Jenkins that I am right, right on the corner. I just read from him this morning. Yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm all for it. I'm never going to edit. I'm never going to censor. I'm all right. for it. But you got to know, yo, you got to know. When you, the my nephew is one of those kids that's like in that triple X cult like mm. thing motherfucker doing on Instagram with a gun and I, we we like yo what's going on do you, do you feel the same way about the guy who killed X I feel what do you mean do meaning you, like you're saying that you could say whatever you want on stage but you gotta be able to deal with the reaction like 
Do you think I... Th- what, what I'm saying is, X might have said something to that guy who was oh, trying to rob him, dude. and then he got killed. Like, would you say to X, would you go, hey, you could say whatever you oh, want I to a robber, but you might get killed. Before he got killed, I was watching a video of him in a fight where they stabbed somebody, and he was laughing. Right. And he was like, hoping, like, I think the guy was dead. And I thought to myself... Yo, that shit you putting out into the universe right. is very like you can do whatever you want. That's nobody's exempt from those rules. Right. But comedians are not either. That's right. So when I hear these white boys saying, "I want to say the n word," I want I, I'm saying you could say whatever you want to say. Just deal with that heat when it comes. Yeah, you just, just gotta be it. ready yeah. to and and that, and that applies to everybody on it the. It just planet. sounds like you guys are justifying violence. They it's like I'm not you don't have. Listen, we can't. We, you don't have. Hey, anyone. ladies, y'all can wear whatever you want. You know what I mean? But no, some guys no, might no, see no, some titties the point, and they might no, gotta no, say no, some that's shit. That's, that's, that's no. a different thing. By the way, that's 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 false equivalency. And by the way, that man may grab them titties, but he may go to jail. Yeah. And ain't nothing, nobody, ain't nothing you can do. You gonna go to jail if you come at if you beat up uh, anybody for what they that's said. It, that's the deal with you. You gotta deal with the consequences. Not everybody. I'm not. I'm not condoning violence. Right. I am a witness that it is real. Yes. And, and she's not, not, not. So is sexual harassment. By the way, we're not saying it. It's just real. We're not saying it's over after that. Because think about it. I don't know what happened with the ex situation, but X might have said something to that dude. That dude killed X. Now that dude's in jail. In jail. Hundred percent. Because what what we all should come together on, I think we all agree on, is that. And as corny as this sounds, but violence is not the answer, right? Like what no. what we allow here in America is you to say whatever the fuck you want to someone because when you stifle saying what you want, the only recourse Might is violence. Why, y'all, right? why, why, why do y'all think freedom of expression is not physical? Yo, <laughs> it's not, fucking, right. free, I got freedom of expression. That might be to slap you in your motherfucking face. Right. right. That's a great what? point. I'll go to jail. And you go to jail. But so, yeah. I mean, every, but it's all, all, it, all it really boils down to is everybody being willing to deal with the consequences of their actions. Yeah. Say what you want to say? Cool. I'm going to slap you. How about this? And when I slap you, I'm I go to jail. Cool, I'm cool but, with that. But, 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 what about this? What about this? I'll say whatever I want to say, and guess what? You could say whatever you want to say back to me, and now we're both operating in say That's world. That's the way the world should be. Yeah. No, no, no. I know, I know. What I'm saying is we should aspire to have behavior. 100%. Right, right now. I might uh, have low emotion like you. You might have touched the soul spot. It might be a trick. We're, we're going, weird. bad things could happen. I guess we're saying like, if everybody's on the same page, right? We right. take out some like sociopaths, take out some crazy motherfuckers, right? And it's just like, I don't think... I don't think any comic that makes a joke, and we know some sensitive ass comics, but I don't think any mm-hmm. comic who makes a super offensive joke, if somebody else went up after them and then clown the fucking shit out of them, mm-hmm. that's part of the game, bro. Yeah, you got clown. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. So uh-huh. it's like. But we're talking about something a little bit more sensitive when you're talking about somebody being tragically murdered. Because I keep telling y'all, these damn, are real people. I seen Jeff Ross roast Pete Davidson about his dad. Being dead in the fucking yeah. Pete makes house, jokes so. about his dad being dead though, so he but, that's kind of a license to do it if you're a comedian. But Pete is a comedian. Yeah. Though, though, you're talking about people who think who that don't, they don't know the game. They don't. They don't know, know the game. game. And those are fighting words to them. That's right. right. Like, think about it. If you you don't think of you XXX and Tashion, you don't know nothing about the comedy. You are making fun of my man getting killed. Yeah. That's right. All you thinking about? And oh, you're I'm gonna talking see about you. a group of people who have bonded on darkness. Right. That he talked about being suicidal and talked about right. being depressed. These are people who are in, a lot of them are in the darkness. Like when he died, if you looked at those tweets, those kids were yeah, like. Man. He was everything know. to them, man. He yeah. was a powerful figure to them. And, and he's from Florida. The it's craziest wild. people in America it's come wild. from the Bronx. Wow. In all of Florida. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, I grew up between the Bronx and Miami. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I fight myself in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I got these demons I can't get up off me because of those realities I mean it's a it's a tricky situation I don't know what James is going through I, I know I called him immediately when I first saw the him? thing and I yeah we spoke and I was like bro I just know that this is going to get taken out of context Whoa, and, yeah. I, and I said he said what are people saying and I was like nah we just talking right now it was me and CP you know comedian mm-hmm. yeah and um, and we're like I just know how people are going to take this just call Dina yeah. Explain why you felt that way, what the whole thing was, and maybe y'all could work that out. But you don't want 
you don't want it to get out there that you're one of us mm -hmm. and you're criticizing one of us over a joke because there are very few rules in the comedy game is don't steal yeah, and don't no. censor. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And I didn't think it was cool for her and to get don't death jerk threads. off in front of women at a hotel. Oh, well. that, that and is hold very the true. door closed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not leave that Allegedly. part Allegedly. That's actually not true. Well, that that's part. up for... I mean, Lou and I met and yeah. he was cool with me. He was very nice to me, actually. So that made me feel bad because I was like, I ain't hot. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy when you hear Louis' story not from a woman and she's not talking about him jerking off. It's like, eh. He didn't pull his dick out on me. And I was like, he didn't, but he thought I was funny. So maybe that was the payoff for me. But. <laughs> you serious? Really jerks off of unfunny women? I just said, never meet people that you admire. <laughs> hey, yo, that's crazy. If you think about that, that's crazy. You you with a comedian and she's born, so you're like, hi, shit. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> a great joke. <laughs> but if she's funny, you just die and laugh. That's a great joke. <laughs> it's good, man. As comedians, we're like, salivating like man because that's the thing we can separate ourselves from the I can't tell this Epstein man I got this Epstein shit wait till it's finished yeah it's not I oh, but I, I, I got did it. one on uh, last week uh, how to, this, yeah, I how did it go. on this week at, the whole audience was like oh Hold like the joke. cringe when I said that if they're gonna ban the video games and they should ban the baby section cause jeggings are problem baby <laughs> jeggings and then I said you know that's how we lost Jeffrey Epstein yeah, we but the that's whole, how we yeah <laughs> we lost him. cause that, that makes it, and yeah. the whole audience was like they all reacted like they, they were cringing but it was magical because it was everybody everybody was like oh I love those like, I got a question just for the yeah. what's, what's yeah. better a cringe or a laugh well that you you, a bomb. you you this this savage <laughs> <laughs> I think you use the O because an O is an audience acknowledging that something is funny, but, but you're not, it. yeah, they're not publicly wanting to do it. Right. Like when you with your homies, like nobody O's, right? Yeah, you say yeah, a fucked no up joke, he's yeah, like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. the thing about an ooh is, or an O, is you can't double O. Right? Right. So you gotta give them something sweet, something on, on, on the other side of it. And they're masters of it, but like if you get the O, and then you tag it. Tag is when you yeah. add like another punchline mm -hmm. on it. It's yeah, like, the tag is always explodes because <laughs> you finally released You them. got that bullshit right. out. You got the fake out of you. Right. Like yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, Patrice yeah, would probably yeah. call it. You got that phony out. The yeah. ooh is your phony. Yeah. And you had no more phony left so you got to give up. Absolutely. I, I, I agree. Like it's that's, it just That's dope. Because I'm one of those comedians that You go for yeah, it and I, then I open. I, I when, when I first started, like that AIDS oh, tag he gave you oh, about that show that. early. You know, like you that. get you, you almost hope that they grown at that first shit. Oh yeah, because when they hit it, yeah. Uh, I opened for Paul Mooney. Mm -hmm. Oh and man, Paul was like, he calls me little pretty bitch. <laughs> uh, that's my name. There's no, he won't call me my name. And he's like, come here, little pretty bitch. He was like. uh, I see you holding back out there. He was like, whenever you start really going in and being who you really are and you let it go and stop being scared, you're going to be a problem. But he was, I watched him and he didn't give a fuck. When yeah, I, he don't give this a fuck. white woman got up and said, Mr. Mooney, you really think that white people are the devil? And he was like, nope, but you'll do to the real one gets here. And <laughs> funny line. That's every line. Funny every line. line. The audience was like, "Oh!" She got up and walked out, and he just clowned her on the way out and proceeded to go mm -hmm. in. And it was can't shake him. He don't. He doesn't care. Yeah. No, he, doesn't well, care. he, he definitely don't give a fuck. And I, I was like, I want some of that. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to punish an audience for an hour. Right. But I do want to be able to speak. I see things through a very dark lens. I grew up in a very, very problematic environment. The way we coped with that was through laughter, right? We made, we were, your daddy left you, bitch. Ah! You know, like, that was <laughs> You ever notice reality. that the people that are most offended by jokes are the people that live the cushiest that lives? Oh, yeah. You've yeah. never yeah. needed the funny. You've That's never right. needed it yeah. to get by. Yes. And it's like, and you're trying to take away the one fucking thing that we had that helped us deal with that fucked up dark shit. Yeah. It's super selfish. And now you got on some right? fucking <laughs> yoga pants. You got one of them running strollers. Right. Your husband is out. At work, yes, white women. I'm talking to some of y'all, and y'all bitches want to come tell us how to be offended about them talking about us. Right. Sit your ass down and go eat your kale, ho. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> it drives me fucking crazy. Well, the crazy part about that is, I feel like a lot of those people, 90 percent of them, would call themselves empaths. 
Yeah. Yes. And, and to your point, yeah. like the comedians are dealing with pain. Like they're working out pain in various ways. And you're so worried about your feelings that you don't give a fuck that yeah. this person is hurt. And you consider yourself to be a person An who empath. cares about yeah, well, yeah. that. said hurt people hurt people then. Is 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Yo, and, it, and it, I don't want to say like all comics are like dealing with pain. Like I'm like writing like an Epstein joke because it's painful. Right. Right. Like some comics are writing through that, you know, mm-hmm. but like. The murder of a pedophile is funny. Yeah, well, yeah. But like also this is how you deal with discomfort. Like yeah. Charlemagne is an anxious person. And the way he deals with his anxiety is says whatever he's feeling in the moment, you like vomit it. You purge. <laughs> right? You pur- no, no, but it's an effective yeah. tool. The people who don't, they just kind You're of with curl it. it. Right. You can yeah, curl yeah, in yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. right? So it's like that that's how you were. And then you learned through life, probably difficultly, is if I make whatever I say funny, I can get away with saying fucked up shit. Yeah. I never thought about it, but yeah, I mean, it's the, the, no, la- organically, the, the it's, laughter eases the, the whatever how, uncomfortable yeah. feeling it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, coping yeah, yeah, mechanism. Yeah, yeah. Well, they put an infanticide joke in Avengers Endgame. What was it? It's again? a Disney property. The 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 the, 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 the before when they're trying to figure out the time travel, they're sitting there talking about the rules of time travel. Oh, kill Hitler as a baby. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, Don Cheadle yeah. says, "Why don't we? If we can do all this, why don't we just go back, find baby Thanos, and just you know give him yeah, a yeah yeah. yeah 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 they kill him." And, yeah. and, the, and the line that Hulk gives him back is, "That's terrible," and he says, "It's Thanos." Yeah 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 like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, yeah, like, killing like, a baby. Kill a baby. But yeah. we're talking about this in the context of a terrible person. I kept well, thinking I mean, like... That, but it was a yeah. baby alien. I mean, it's and not so, like... Yeah, it, 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 it wasn't a, a human. A like, human person. I would have stumped like, that shit. I would have <laughs> put some Timberlands on and stumped the <laughs> shit out yeah. of that. Yo, baby. but like... What, what I, I don't get about those hypotheticals is like, they're like, why don't we go back to when Hitler's a baby and then kill him? Like, why don't you just go back to Hitler's mom... And then make sure she doesn't get cummed in. In the first place. <laughs> like, isn't that with all the murder? You have no and then, yeah, and that is like, why I have like, Why no do you choice. have to kill a baby? <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. It's like, but like, why do they jump to kill baby? Kill baby. You yeah. have time yeah. travel. Yeah. Go yeah. a little yeah. bit further back. Yeah. Yeah. Wham, wham, wham. Bitch, kill the baby. <laughs> all right, listen. It's time to go. I got to run too, man. We got one more, though. We got to... Oh, whatever. Yeah, that later. I'd give me your Instagram. Funny A-I-D-A. And your Twitter. Funny A I D A. And make sure y'all tune in to Tiffany Haddish's Day yeah. Ready and watch Ida Rodriguez. Watch her special on Netflix. Uh, Ida, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is fun. Ja. Yes, sir. Give me your Twitter, Instagram. Oh, uh, Twitter, Hip Hop Obama, Instagram, Mr. Hip Hop <laughs> Obama. You see me there. The word. Um, and that's it, y'all. If you think this podcast was great, thank you. Uh, if you think we're smart and intelligent, you're right. If you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.